they assemble at night, each one having prepared as diligently as possible the time given to them before the witching hour, the hour of rain, the time when they begin outdoor cartoon television. Stray casts is on the air. Here we go. It's Wednesday night. That can only mean one thing. Wait, what? Hold on. Tonight, two things. It's the glorified version of a Bassin talk show, and it's the Crestliner MX-19 launch party. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Hello, Bass Galaxy. How are you tonight? Oh, my goodness gracious. This is a show. Uh, this is a concoction of some sorts. Uh, going on here tonight. Uh, let me tell you, broadcasting live. Oh, first off, our guests are John Cox, pro angler. Give, give it up for John Cox. Yes. Yes. Also, uh, Keith Carson, pro angler. That's correct. Yes. Get this. Get this. Derek Taylor, he's the... Uh, He's the winner of the MX-19 from the Bassmaster Classic, the big uh, Crestliner Omnia Berkeley giveaway deal. Yes, he's on the night, too. He's going to talk about his winnings, his, uh, his life-changing moment. Uh, also, now get this. Get this right here. Um, every eight minutes, we're giving stuff away. Right, Chinch? That's it. Right, every eight minutes, we're giving stuff away. We're broadcasting live. In a gazillion places tonight, uh, uh, um, not only our usual uh, um, platforms, but Crestliner Facebook as well. Uh, just so you don't, so you uh, you know, if you don't know, uh, we're on the Roku Straycast channel. We're on the YouTube. We're on the Straycast.net. We're on Straycast Facebook. Straycast Gumbo. Straycast Shrimp. Straycast Scampi. Uh, Straycast everything, and also uh, tomorrow on all. Pl uh, on uh, uh, podcast platforms, but on the Crestliner Facebook page tonight and on the Straycast Facebook page tonight, you have the opportunity to win something every eight minutes. Ginge, what do they, uh, what do they hear when they hear this sound? Oh. What's the sound? It's like, it's like a cash or something. But anyway, hey, um, yes, breaking news. <laughs> this just in. That's the sound. So when you hear that, um, you have the opportunity to win. It's this easy. Like and share the live feeds if you're watching on the Crestliner Facebook or if you're watching on the uh, Stray Cast Facebook. Like and share those feeds. Um, and, uh, and you got a chance to win something uh, every eight minutes. That's from Omnia Fishing, from Berkeley, uh, and from Crestliner. This is going to be amazing. All kinds of goodness uh, going on. Hey, it's kind of a condensed... Uh, show tonight. We're going to get right to the action, but a little stray cast business uh, real quick. Uh, special thanks uh, to Tin Cup Whiskey for making all this happen uh, right here. Want to remind you all kinds of good things going on at OmniaFishing.com. Uh, Check out Omnia Fishing. Uh, also, as well, you guys know that uh, the stray cast, uh, it's half a spot. Change. Yes, sir. The half a spot month for uh, for Stray Cast. Right. Uh, and go to half a spot, download the app, uh, fish against us. We uh, we got so far uh, like 92.5 or something, Ginge. That's correct. 92.5 inches. Uh, Ginge is getting out there soon uh, doing his derb. Uh, Popcorn's doing his derb. Uh, Jake Haas over in Jersey is doing his derb. And, uh, and Kaboom Kapow, sign up for half a spot official. Dot com. Ginge, what am I? I'm looking at this camera, right? I'm, uh, I got, I got, 
There it is. Okay, now it is. <laughs> It got confused tonight because I was like, wait a minute, hold on a second there. Um, hey, getting to it uh, again, if you haven't already, like and share the feed on Crestliner's Facebook page or Straycast, your chance to win something uh, from Berkeley, from uh, Crestliner or Omnia Fishing every eight minutes, up to seven times, right? We got a seven limit. Lucky yep. seven. Lucky seven. Um. Okay, um, there it is. Hey, uh, I'm Pat Remwick. I suggest you put the power poles down. Don't go anywhere. We're coming back with uh, lifelong buddies, lifelong pals, dynamic duo, Bassin dudes, proper Bassin men, John Cox and Keith Carson at the Crestliner MX-19 launch party. We'll be right back. We live for taking on the water. No matter what the water brings. We live for earning our dinner with every cast. We live for making our own adventures and coming back with a live well full of fresh stories. Water has many forms, unique to everyone who takes to it. We build to bring you there. Crestliner, forged with strength, defined by durability. Ladies and gentlemen, we are proud to bring to you Bass Fishing Galaxy, Crestliner Galaxy, the royalty, the pride and joy of the Crestliner Pro Team. Give it up 
for the one and only Keith Carson and John Cox. Yes. Hello, gentlemen. Royalty. Royalty. Yeah. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you guys? Doing good, doing good. I'm up here at uh, Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin, day one. Okay. Uh, out here messing around before the uh, next derb, before I gotcha. Winnebago. I gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, John is doing an, one of his thousandth <laughs> interviews from behind the wheel of a Crestliner right there. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I'm debating whether to ride like this or just go ahead and school bus. Oh. <laughs> well, you could, if you had a plate of something, you could put it up I, there right now. I, that I would be perfect right, right now on the perfect. adjustable steering wheel <laughs> of the Crestliner. <laughs> but I walked up. I walked up to the studio, and the first thing the Ginger Ninja says to me is like, "Yeah, John was running a little little late. He said the fish were biting, so he apologized." I said, "I, I, I told I told Melissa, I said we need to go, and we need to go find a place to stay, but." We were having this competition, and we were kind of catching up. And oh yeah, I, biting. I know yeah. Melissa, <laughs> Melissa, Lil, and Nan are fierce competitors. Probably, oh, yeah. probably yep. more fierce than than you and Keith are. Actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think so. They're pretty cutthroat. I had at one point, uh, one of them ran my line over while I was reeling one in, and it just it completely spooled me. Really? <laughs> oh yeah. Are they yeah. loosening your drags and stuff at night? And oh all that yeah, kind yeah. Of stuff? Yeah, I, I, yeah, like Keith used to do way back yeah, in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Keith, no, Keith the best to... time I, he, the one time he tied all my blood knots for me, he knew the first rod I was going to use. Oh, he did it all no. jacked up. When I set the hook, it just was like, pow. <laughs> and, and I remember cussing him all day. But I, and, uh, I did that because it taught me, it taught me that, hey, I need to be able to tie this knot. And yeah. uh, it really, it taught me a good lesson. Yeah, I know. Still... I think JP tied that night. Oh, yeah, ah, that one JP. Yeah. Tied? Yeah. 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 JP. I that gotcha. One. I gotcha. <laughs> hey, um, I mean, obviously, you guys have known each other a heck of a long time, and uh, and we'll get into a little bit of the of the history, the 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 madcap, the uh, the joys, the the tribulations, the laughter, the tears, everything. <laughs> That has come with your relationship, but but first, I, <laughs> <laughs> but first, I really want to talk about um, your guys' derb prowess. I mean, you guys are fierce tournament anglers, first and foremost. And and what's pretty cool is that you pick a a crestliner boat to practice your profession in. Um, John, mm -hmm. uh, let, let's start with you, John. Um, basically, um, you've been at this about ten years, right? 10 years. Right. And you yeah. got, you got, well, yeah. Fishing the, fishing all the big ones, you know, with, you know, a $5,000 entry fee. I think it's been 10 years. Yeah. Pro John, pro angler yeah, John. Pro, pro John. <laughs> yes. Pro if John. If you want to call it that. Yes. I don't believe it, but it's, it sounds cool. <laughs> I know you, you pinch yourself still. I, I know you do. Yeah. I know you do yeah. for real. True story. I know, I know you do, but, but I mean, so 10 years and, uh, and according to the stats, 10 wins under your belt so you're about good for a w a year i know you made up for a lot of <laughs> a lot of that in the later part of your career of course but, right yeah but i mean yeah. you're, you're you know let's statistically look at it you're good for for a win a year of course you are the 2016 forest wood cup champion well Man, give it up that, for that bass galaxy uh, yeah right yeah, there that, yeah that was it was uh five years ago last week yeah wow big, or something like that yeah big I, deal. I was all pumped because i was in second at champlain i'm like man it's gonna be just like that year of forest wood cup and i got out there day two and didn't catch anything <laughs> <One happening>. <laughs> <laughs> but 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 you um i mean let's face it um forest wood cup champion you changed your life right there your life kind of i mean it's it definitely mm -hmm at that point yeah, uh, yeah what I, you know without a doubt that year was uh that year was insane i actually went to hartwell and uh was it was going neck and neck with uh clark wendell it you know the guy i had on the weed eats box you know in my room yeah he was on last know, for week. all them years <laughs> yeah for all them years he was know, on here on last there. week <laughs> yeah and uh and it was so awesome to, to just beat him by ounces uh and then and then that same year win the cup i mean it was just it was incredible yeah, man, and uh, and and what a victory for you! And yeah. and um, and let's face it, at that point, um, I believe um, Mark Menendez, uh, like getting his aluminum boat into uh, 
I can't. What, what's the name of that lake over uh, there? Dardanelle. Dardanelle. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that yeah. might have been the mm-hmm. first one that a lot of the uh, the, the, the Bass uh, fans remember. But, man, John, that, uh, that deal right there, that Forest Wood Cup victory, very important for the uh, – for the tin boat army right there. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The tin soldiers, right. as they yeah, say. Right. <laughs> and and at, that, at that point, they like, it was, that was the only time I really ever heard you called the tin man. Like, does Mercer yeah. call you the tin man still? Yeah. Uh, I, Mercer calls me uh, a bunch of different things. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think he stays away from the tin man because, you know, the tin man doesn't have a heart and all this stuff. And uh, it's whatever. I mean, I, I'm cool with it. I mean, whatever, whoever wants to call me, whatever. But I like handyman. Uh, I like yeah, handyman's Johnny the handyman. Cool. <laughs> I, I think Mercer calls me. Uh, I think he calls me Iron Man sometimes. I don't go. know. It's, yeah. it's whatever. Yeah, Man it's of cool. steel. The Man <laughs> of steel, John Cox and his Chris Lighter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but no, I mean, let's face it. That that victory brought the aluminum boat. Boom! Right in the face of, of the of the bass fishing galaxy. Mm-hmm. Right it, it, I mean, it, it was amazing because Crestliner did. I mean, that was the first year we had a uh, a twenty foot boat, you know, with a two hundred on it, a big gas tank. I mean, we had a full size bass boat. That was the first year of it, you know. So it was really cool, uh, you know, winning the cup that year. Out of it, you know, and it just um, it just made me realize, like, wow, you know, maybe you know. There, there is something with this, you know, and uh, we're going to keep rolling with it, you know. Yeah, and that was your first year with a full-size aluminum boat that you got into small-size places with. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I honestly, I was worried when I got that boat. I'm like, man, 20 feet, 200 horse. <laughs> we we got do? a lot of weight in this thing, you know. I mean, there's been times where I had the little <laughs> one stuck and not able to move it. And, uh, boy, it's just, you know. It's just it's gone really good since then. Now you're now you're running the El de Barge, both of you yeah, guys. I'm the MX twenty one. This one here spoils you bad. I mean, because like, and let me let me just give it like I could. <laughs> Wait a minute! What is going on there, Keith? What is? Yeah. We lost John's yeah. sound. We lost his audio. Yeah. <laughs> He's got like everybody's stuff in there. Yeah, I mean, it, it just it has so much room, and uh, I'm really falling in love with this boat. I'm able to take it those same small places. Uh, the only downside I'd have to say in some of those canals or tight areas, I'm not able to turn it around, you know, because it's 21 <laughs> yeah. feet. You know, I'm like driving right. it up on the bank and turning it around. But, uh, but uh, yeah, that. it is it is a really awesome boat. It's uh, super stable, and uh, man, I mean, I've had it in giant waves this year, and uh, was was still impressed with it. You know. Yeah, is everything cool, Jitch? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Did you guys hear that? Yeah, what was that? Yeah, you know what? That is <laughs> what that means. We're giving something away every eight minutes, guys. And wow. yeah, yeah, it's, 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 wow. <laughs> it's that Another awesome. MX-19? No, no, <laughs> yeah. not, it, no. <laughs> Derek Taylor's oh. coming on to tell us about that later. But oh, so okay. if you haven't already, everyone out there, like and share the live Facebook feed, whether you're watching on the Crestliner Facebook feed or the Stray Cast Facebook feed, and you have a chance to win something every eight minutes. And uh, well, this is our first winner. So here, here we go. Uh, Jimmy Johnson. Jim Johnson, you have mm. won a Crestliner hat and shirt. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> That's the first prize. Jamie Johnson, you want a Crestliner. And they, don't worry, you're going to see how wild these prizes keep getting. So a Crestliner, <laughs> <laughs> you just, wait, both of you guys, you see. Yeah. Uh, Crestliner yeah. hat and shirt, uh, all you got to do is uh, direct message the Straycast Facebook page to Jake Haas with your size, please, as well, your shirt size. Hey, uh, all right, guys, um, moving right along. John, you are the only TTA. Wait, hold on. Can you hear no me? idea. Do you know what yeah, a TTA what is, is? No. You know what a TTA mm. is, Keith? He's the only I, I, TTA in the history of All basketball. that I can think of is a tiny titty actor. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, that is... <laughs> That's the magic of a bass and talk show. That is a three... Tour angler, a three tour oh, angler. 
I okay. like I like better. these better. Yeah. Pants are okay. Better. No, no, three okay. tour anglers better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a three tour angler, and uh, that's a big deal. We had two tours, many two tour anglers in in uh, history. We've had uh, we've had Greg Hackney, Van Dam, of course, Fritz, Ike and Ellie, yep. many, many, mm-hmm. many. And John, yep. you're the first ever three tour angle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I, I, I guess they really didn't. I don't know if they had three tours. Well, then, they but, didn't, but yeah. still, yeah. I mean, <laughs> hey, let's put it this hey, way, I'll John. Take it. John, I'll you're take the it. only two tour angler right now. Well, right. maybe right. no, but hey, you're the only guy that fishes the uh, the uh, Bass Nation and the MLF. Let's put it that right. way. The only mm-hmm. guy right. that's doing it on yeah. a pro level, on a pro level, and that's right. that, that's a big deal. It's dedication, John. It's dedication. Right. It, it's a big deal. And we'll get into the business uh, side of that. I'm just going over a little history right now. You're the only angler ever in the history of bass fishing to qualify for the Bassmaster Classic by missing the tournament and spending the day at Disneyland. <laughs> Give it up for uh, for John Cox on that. Wow. Qualified for the Bassmaster Classic. And most guys are like, after they win a big event, they're like, yeah, I'm going to Disneyland. John's like, I'm going to go to Disneyland before the event and just, yeah. why not? So do you think Man, that's I, like a precursor to the to what's going to happen? Foreshadowing? I, Dude, that even just making it was incredible it was like everything just corrected itself it was like you know no matter what was going to happen we were going to slide in there somehow and dude we're going to go we're going to hartwell next year yeah Bassmaster classic yeah you, you yeah you got a little I mean, history that, there i i love hartwell yeah you know? i know you just, do i was sick thinking i was going to be stuck at the show working hanging out with all the amazing people but you know, but watching the other guys fish, like, oh gosh, man! I Lo and know. behold, I, I can handle that. Lo and behold, there you are. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, you love yep. Hartwell. I, I do. I mean, it, I, it just uh, you know, even going back to that 2016 and all the years me and Keith went there. I mean, mm-hmm. um, it's just got a such a variety of it's a it, there's uh, so much to do there. Shallow, deep, you know, clear. Dirty, I'm mad you know, at Hartwell. Just, I'm mad at Hartwell for Keith. You know why? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I mean, Keith well, had an amazing 2020 open season, except oh, yeah, for that yeah. that bunk Hartwell tournament. You, yeah, you, you yeah. finished. There was that, only like a, 200 boats, and you finished like 307. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and your buddy yeah. loves the lake. Yeah, yeah. Well, only, I think Keith needed to catch one more keeper <laughs> out yeah. of the three he caught. And he would have been in the Bassmaster Elites this year. I know. I I, mm-hmm. I, I, do, I was watching. I was watching. I Unbelievable. Was watching. Uh, I, but, yeah. You know, I mean, it, you know, it all worked out for a reason. I mean, Keith's over there at MPFL killing yeah. it, uh, you know. And, Doing uh, well. Right. Well. Yeah. I mean, and I mean, and, you know, I, I mean, I know Keith. I mean, he fished the Classic this year. I. And I mean, he's going to be fishing all of it, too, uh, you know, sooner or later, too. So. <laughs> he's going to be a TTA um, <laughs> as well. Yeah, 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 he's gonna be doing them all. So, yeah, it's just a I matter mean, of time. Hey, let, let's let's look at it this way: you uh, you have two pro level event W derbs under your belt, Keith. You know, I know, Keith, I can't yeah. believe it. I know. Yeah, in su- yeah, in such a short amount of time, like it's like John says, like just when things are going your way, it it's just like it just happens. You know, sometimes you can't stop the momentum when it's just when it, when it's going in your favor and. Yeah, you know, you can't explain it. You just roll with it and fish as many derbs as you can. And John's thing that he always said is, you know, you can't win if you don't go. So fish as yeah. many as you possibly can. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, that's that's the business side. That's the, yeah. <laughs> that's the, that's the business end of it right there. But um, you know, uh, con- congratulations on your win again on Wright Patman for the NPFL. Thanks. I like to call it Neil Patrick Harris Lake. That yeah. like, <laughs> say, hey, hey, congratulations on your W there, and I'm glad you found Thanks. a cool home at the NPFL. I love the people over there, and and I think uh, I think it's got a lot of potential. That league, no doubt about yeah. it. Yeah, and a good, yeah, it does. It's 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 a great place. It's it's going somewhere. So yeah, it's cool a good to be home a part for a good home for a lot of people. That's that that's yeah. for sure. You know, and 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 of course your your Lay Lake opens victory and the historic inspirational call from your buddy John Cox. 
kicking your ass in gear, basically. And- yeah, yeah. Sometimes you need that, you know. <laughs> you need somebody to straighten you out every now and then. <laughs> and of course, you two qualified because of that event for the Bassmaster Classic. Not as not as uh, exuberantly like John did at Disney World, but I mean, <laughs> <laughs> any qualification for a BMC is a qualification, no matter how you get it. You know what I mean? That's right. You know That's what right, I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, um, speaking of derbs. I want to uh, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about um, a couple specific tournaments, and I want to ask each one of you guys about your buddies, Derb, and you'll see what I mean here in a minute. And <laughs> and, 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 and and John, the I, John, I love how you laugh at everything because I laugh at everything too, and we could just laugh the whole show. I, I was just thinking of, of what this, you know, what this is going to turn into. No, no, yeah. that's at the end. Hold on. We'll get to that. No, we're, we're still derb talking. It's not, it's not but, uh, but I want to ask you, John, about mm-hmm. Keith, Keith's finish. Okay. Now, Keith's been running around in derbs since 2006. He's no stranger to, to, to fish in derbs. I mean, on, on, on the decent level. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and mm-hmm. I want to talk to you, John, about Keith's third place finish. Okay, going way back to 2012. Look at your smile over there, Keith. On the Harris <laughs> chain. On the Harris chain. You know oh, I mean? gosh, that's going way back. Way yeah. back. But that's yeah. kind of like, that was kind of like, you know, Keith, that was a that was a big deal. And I saw that Keith right. cashed a decent check in that. And that's a big, yep. that's a big builder for your angling right. psych. And I know you right. guys have been friends forever, so I know that I want to hear you delve back in the history book about that third place finish, which was pretty important for your bud. Yeah, I mean, gosh, man, that was, uh, you know, that was one of those tournaments where, where you know, we're, we were both like looking at it and, and wanting to fish it and stuff. And, and uh, it was kind of one of those things where it was like, man, I, I'm not going to go do it. You, you know, you go do it, you know, and uh, I was so glad. He I'm did. not gonna try it. You try it. Yeah, I was just like, man, you go, you go do it. Uh, uh, isn't there so a commercial like that or something? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, gosh, so that that was the Harris chain one, right? Yeah. 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 yeah I borrowed the little teeny boat. Oh yeah, yeah. That's right. Okay. So, yeah. So yeah. that one, uh, it was crazy. You know, he had one spot that was hard to get into. Uh, it was a decent, a decent place to uh, catch him. Uh, but mm-hmm. he caught him okay, but didn't catch him like, you know, as good as he thought and, mm-hmm. uh, or, you know, or either of us with the thought. And, uh, he ended up, uh, going and borrowing another boat, uh, <laughs> a, a even smaller boat. Yeah, all sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> if I remember correctly, I, yeah. I mean, a really little boat. It was a two man really bass little. hunter, but he yeah, put a 50 I mean, it, on the it back. Was, it was a tiny one. And he went to another spot and, and just wrecked him. Nice. And then, and then he went in again and wrecked him. And I was just like, man, that was that, that feeling that he had, you know, in the back of his head that, you know, Hey, if I go here, I think, I think I'm going to do a lot better, even though we didn't know the potential of that area. Um, you know, and he just, and he, and he called the the shots in the tournament, made the decision to go and, uh, dude, nice. it paid off. I mean, Chris Lane was on like an amazing school of fish and like, you know, was throwing a one lily pad and, and catching all these big ones. Uh, <laughs> but man, but yeah. like, the school Keith of tens like, on one pad. Yeah, stock. and like Keith was just out there grinding and and uh, you know did a big you know and gambled and, and came really close. You know, he did, uh, dude. I mean, amazing. Yeah, I mean, I, I, amazing. I, I knew, I knew that. I mean, I've always known since day one. I mean, when when I used to take Keith to teen anglers, we, he was so intense in teen anglers and me too. Like, man, I'm like, I'm like, dude, keep casting. You got 10 more minutes. And like, man, teen we need to go another spot. And like, you know, we were, we were so, uh, on that same level of wanting to compete, you know, the drive. that I was just like, man, yeah. I mean, it was just, and that, all those tournaments we fished, I mean, the time we put in, I mean, that was like our weekends was we're finding a tournament. We're going to fish it. We're going to practice, you know, a couple days before and, and, uh, you know, trying to make some money and, um, but yeah, that Harris chain one, that, that really, that made me realize like, man, you know what, maybe we can, you know, maybe we both can do this, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and plus I think I, if I re- remember when I was looking earlier, you won like 13, 14, 15,000 bucks. That does a lot for, a lot for you upstairs too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Really. <laughs> Besides help out the bank account, it helps out your <laughs> mental bank account as well. <laughs> right. You, you know what yeah. I mean? Hey, hey, uh, 
Hey, Keith, I want to ask you about this victory here, which ironically, as I'm sure you'll you'll tell the story, uh, I want to ask you about John's Red River victory, his first victory ever, <laughs> 2011. FLW. Okay. Yeah. Tell tell this, me about the Red River Derb. <laughs> well, th- this was a huge victory. So yes. this was so j- this was actually John's first win in a Crestliner, and yes, that sir. was in my th- that was in my VT seventeen with a fifty horsepower. I, not not one fifty. This was a five zero fifty horsepower Mercury, and. uh he ran, he locked through, ran all the way down and got through a little, a little tunnel and uh, pushed his way in there. Wait, hold a on a second. Hold on. Okay, let's, okay. let's clarify this real quick. I've, now, the boat you had is a VT-17, right? That's what that was did. the the first crest liner. Gotcha. Okay. Correct. Now yeah, I think it was I think it was a CX then or something. Okay. Was, was it? We're, we're, whoa, we're maybe going. way back. I got look. Well, I got the specs on it. It had a ninety four inch beam. Okay, and John got it through a ninety-one inch culvert. So I, 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 I keep going. Sorry to interrupt, guys. Sorry to interrupt. I don't know. The rest yeah. is history. Yeah, John went down there. This this place was loaded, and uh, he he just I don't even know if you got through the hole. He, like he just got the nose of the boat through the tunnel, <laughs> and I think made like five casts, caught like fifteen pounds. And well, his co angler stuck in the tunnel, and he's like, "All right, buddy, we got with go. spiders and, and stuff." Was there was spiders yeah, everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> it was horrible. Yeah, yeah, you'd run down, all the way down there, and the boat ran like you know thirty two miles an hour. And uh, as he's running down, like everybody was spraying him and throwing wakes on him and all that <laughs> stuff, you know. And <laughs> and he just uh, yeah, he just blew the tournament away. It was unreal. Yeah, you I- know, it's just. I, it was I, I it was the front of the boat and and I guess John please hop in and tell us if we're nuts but you did get the front through because I remember seeing you like with a big branch like trying to push the culvert through and yeah you're, you're, yeah so we I actually got uh, we got in with uh, two by fours that we bought at Lowe's oh, uh, or Home Depot that's what the night it was. before okay. yeah so, yeah yeah we didn't have any push poles at the time and you know me and Keith we were. <laughs> We were pretty, uh, you know, handyman and stuff, and yeah. painting pretty hard. So we were like, we were like, went to Lowe's. We we're like, we got to figure out something. You had an account. Just put it to on get the, the charge. boat in yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The Lowe's <laughs> card. I mean, even yeah. going back to that, we we had Keith's dad's credit card on that trip. Yeah, we bud. Had, That's right. We Living had no good. Money. I remember his dad. His dad was yelling at. He was like, "What is this charge?" Like, and they're like, "Cut it off!" <laughs> <laughs> they cut that sucker off. On like, How many oh, times God. you need to go to Arby's a day? But, uh, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome but, so i mean keep I, i'm sorry keith keep telling us about the red river and your buddy's victory his first victory blew yeah, it away yeah i mean yeah so the first two days he, he pushes through the tunnel catches five big ones and pretty much five casts gets out of there locks back through safely and then day three he's like you know what i'm gonna stay up in this pool and i'm like you're crazy you know just go down and catch another five big ones and he's like no i'm gonna stay in pool five right at the ramp i got this little sandbar i can run over it drops off into a little pond wow so then he goes in there and jacks another good bag day three and it was like like john and 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 i and i was oh wait that's right day three so i was sitting in second place as a co-angler and i drew brent ayler okay and i think we were both in second i think you know you're paired up with the equal equal placing so we're locking down and John's not in the lock and all the other guys are like, where's John? And I'm like, he's not coming. And they're like, what the heck? What's wrong with him? <laughs> he's not coming down. And I'm like, no, he's got something up there, you know? And everybody thought, Oh, this is crazy. This is our chance. He's going to leave the door wide open. He's not going to catch anything up there. Cause many guys didn't do well in pool five through the whole tournament. You know, by now we're on day three, I think it's top 20 final day for co-anglers. And, uh, and like, I mean, 19 guys were locking through and John stayed and yeah, jacked them down like, there. Where's John? Yeah, and, John had uh, a sneak sneak, of course. Yeah. Slid over yeah, a sand so, You know, he's just uh, throwing curveballs out there, r- really just displaying uh, how, how good of an angler he is. You know, he could just catch them anywhere, really. <laughs> um, so that was pretty sweet. 
And uh, and then turns out, you know, and then I won the co-angler side that day with Brent Ayler. And uh, Look so at that you. was even better. Look yeah. At you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So that was just a great tournament. Yeah. It really kicked things off. That was like, I think that was our fourth FLW tour tournament ever, you know, for both of us. Yeah. Yeah. Our, then, our, our last one was going to be on Table Rock and they canceled. So we were like, okay, we got, you know, cause we don't, we didn't even have enough money to go to one more, you know? So we were like, you know, that money we won, uh, you know, earlier that year or the year before, like we were already spent through it, you know, burn through it. Dirty. Yeah. Burn through it. Yeah. What, think, oh, you, you hear yeah. that? It's the eight minute mark. <laughs> <laughs> it's the like and share. If you're watching on Crestliner Facebook or, or uh, straight cast Facebook, like, and share the live feed. We still got how many prizes left? Jen six. Six left every eight minutes, giving away. Wow. Yeah, look at this. And here's the surprise. Are, are you ready? Now, Keith and John, you guys did not know this, but um, you are going to hand select a prize to give to uh, uh, a lucky viewer. And we'll start uh, with you, Keith. So, Keith, it could be anything. It could be a spatula from your house when you get home. Uh, it, could, oh. <laughs> it could be like soap from the hotel room you're staying at, or you could send them something cool like like Max Scent or or, wow. or, or, or yeah, or you could send them an MX 21 or, or an even yeah. or even a, a new MX 19 that just launched. You could send that too. So uh, how about okay, what do you, do, got? you want me? A, OK, I got I got one. I'm going to give away the new Berkeley Gilly. Oh, Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Holy shnikes. Wow. Yeah. That's a good <laughs> one. Make sure that's okay. Yeah. I, don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess I better check. But well, yeah, uh, that's too late now. You can't go back on that, yeah. bro. You, you can't You're do that. Them. Those are gone. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the gilly. You better... <laughs> so what you got to do is just uh, message Jake Haas to the Straycast Facebook page. Direct message. Put Keith Carson Prize. 500 packages of gillies yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but for yeah, real right. dirty, that's a great price thanks keith carson that's a great contribution you better get ready to one up that one john cox when your time Jeez, I, I don't know if i yeah, can yeah, you know what i'm saying right there oh no, the oh we got to tell who the winner is that hey help. hey that helps hey yeah. that's how you do it <laughs> uh, this guy's name is mike Etzel, Mike Etzel, you're the winner of the Gilly, the new Berkeley Giller. It's it's uh, Ike and Ellie's best to show from iCast deal. Uh, Mike, yeah, Mike, awesome. Mike designed it with science. Yeah, check no, it, it looks awesome. No. I don't understand how it runs straight like it does, but it does. I, the Ginger Ninja was showing yeah. me. We got some here at the studio, and uh, mm -hmm. and and Ninja was showing me uh, uh, how how uh, like a video actually. Of exactly how to rig it with a big old hook, and I'm I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited about oh, yeah. the things, hundred percent. But too. yeah, I haven't, I haven't got to play with it too much, but I can't I can't wait. I yeah, think you'll be, you'll jack uh, them on it. Something to add in there. I hope so. And that's <laughs> that spring stuff. Yeah, John, that spring yeah. stuff. Hey, um, yeah, it's it's awesome. Uh, pretty cool. Both of you guys won the twenty or the uh, 2012 Red River Dirt. Pretty cool, guys. I mean. Angler yeah. and co-angler side. That's pretty yeah. historic that Best yeah, that, Buds that, did that. I don't know if anybody's ever done that, ever. I don't know. And ever. Not, fish to, not fish with each other. That was the that was the weird that was the weird part. Right. Know? It wasn't like you're giving each other juice and this and that. You yeah, know? like, I mean, hey, throw up there. Yeah. You weren't even together. Yeah, I mean, you're the one with two by fours and the and <laughs> yeah. get in some crazy I, stuff I, right there i just remember after that tournament being like dude i don't know how you caught anything you know in, in that river like i don't understand how he caught anything yeah. i was like gosh what were you doing yeah, behind I, ailer what were you what was your your deal keith uh i was uh i was throwing a little tiny crankbait just like the fritz side five and gotcha. uh okay and uh and I was, you know, I was catching them. I mean, right it was, I was them. like, I was shocking myself. I was like, dang, you <laughs> know, <was> <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Hey, um, yeah. let's, let's look at it this way. Okay. Let's, let's get real right now with both of you guys. You're both in Bassin, um, first and foremost, because you love fishing. You love the bass. You have a passion for it. But second off. It's the um, the business side. Um, you both 
are businessmen. Um, very uniquely, especially John Cox, you are a Basson businessman. Keith, this guy set out with a business plan mm-hmm. for Basson in 2021. Yeah. What was it, John? 19 derbs? Is that what it was that you had mapped out? 19 of them? Uh, yeah. yeah, or 21 or something. I think I'm going to end up fishing. I think I'm going to end up fishing 20. 20. 20. Okay. Tournament. 20, 20. Out of the 21. Out of the 21. Like it'll, it'll be 20 tournaments. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, because you're still going to Claire, right? You still got Claire yep. left. Yep. Got one mm-hmm. left. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. And then what are you going to do? Yeah. I, I don't know. I thought about that. <laughs> you don't know what the hell to do with yourself. <laughs> I know. That's kind of like this week. We're like, what are we going to do this week? We're like, uh, I guess we'll go fish, you know, all the way up and down the St. Lawrence and then shoot back over to Champlain and then fly to Minnesota. <laughs> Cruise on over to London. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> but you guys are both extreme Bassin businessmen. And, um, John, you set out with a goal this year. So how you doing? How'd you do as a percent? How many you got under your belt so far then? You must have, what do you got? Eight, uh, 18 or 19? I think 19? that was 19 uh, last week. How uh, many did you Champlain. cash in? How many did you cash? Uh, I think we missed checks in, I think, four of the 19. Whoa. So pretty good. Four time, four and you got a win. And you got, you got win. one win. Yeah. And, uh, Smith. you know, a few, a few top tens. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I think we're, we're close to that, that 300 and something, uh, 300,000 mark. So that was the goal. You know. they, yeah, I think so. You know, get the you 10 each, each go. And, um, you know, if we get lucky and, you know, we got lucky and we won one. So that was, that that well, you're good for one there. a year. We determined yeah. that at the beginning yeah. of the yeah. show. Yeah. I guess so. <laughs> that one was a cr- incredible one. I mean, it's just like he said, when, it, when it just goes right, you go wherever you catch them. I mean, it was, uh, it was, it was awesome. So when, and then when all is said and done, Keith, I mean, by the time you take expenses and everything else out, he's at eighty six dollars and thirty two cents. <laughs> yeah, so he's, a, he's ahead of the game. Yeah, that's he's what not... out. Yes, I was, I was <laughs> making about twenty five cents a day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a deal. I, I loved every second of it, though. Yeah, I, I mean, that's what counts. Uh, but yeah. I'm going to tell you, John, you are amazing. With your business plan, like you literally run yourself ragged. I, I, I mean, you are. I mean, I used to use this term about Mike Iaconelli as the James Brown of bassin, like the hardest working <laughs> man in bass fishing. But John, you don't stop. Like you don't. <laughs> sometimes you don't even remember how to sleep, John. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I have, I have thrown my sleep off quite a bit. But uh, I mean, dude, I, I just, I love going, you know, and. Uh, you know, even like uh, I had an off day the other day during the uh, Bass Pro Tour, and uh, you know um, I just went fishing on that off day, you know, and I and I, I really because um, I didn't fish well the day before, and I was just trying to figure out a few things, uh, you know, on my end, and uh, I think that's what it takes sometimes, just to you know, uh, just with anything, like sometimes you just get off on like your swing gets off or whatever it is, like you know, mm-hmm. you just have to work through it and uh, and adjust, you know, make those adjustments as quick as you can. Uh, before you blow it in the, in a couple other tournaments, you know. You mean like so, put a little uh, extra nail weight in, in your wacky worm? And yeah, or that kind something, of adjust. something stupid. We're like, oh, okay. <laughs> Take like, the I mean, nail I, weight I, out of the wacky worm. Yeah, that kind I, of that, adjustment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At one point, where I was I was like setting the hook funny, you know. And Keith's seen it. We're like we we yeah. always helped each other out. I'm like, dude, mm-hmm. you're like you're setting the hook from up here, and you need to set it from here at like nine o'clock, and like. Uh, you know, and that was the nice. cool thing we could together all the time uh, that we we picked each other apart. Like when something wasn't working, we're like, dude, there's something messed up with that. And we would we would work through it that whole week uh, mm-hmm. and try to dial that. You know? I like it. He's your personal game day coach, your game day. Tape yeah. Right there. Yeah. From, yeah. from Keith Carson. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, pretty all right, cool. Got it. Pretty, pretty cool. Oh, here we, oh, my oh. gosh. It's eight <laughs> minutes again. <laughs> Wow. Man, time's flying. <laughs> <laughs> it's eight minutes again. Okay, here we go again. Now uh, the like and share contest for the Crestliner Facebook and the Stray Cast Facebook. Now the prize is coming from the one and only TTA. 
Uh, that's like, you know how when you get a title on your business card, like PhD or CPA? I, I always you, wanted something. Yeah, like that. you're TTA, bro. You're TTA. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's like your business. Hey, can, I'm going to have to put that on my Instagram. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, John, you got to give away something to, uh, to a lucky viewer here tonight. Boy, I... I'm gonna go all out here. I'm whoa. I'm gonna I'm gonna give them a new car. A pack <laughs> oh. of flatworms. I'm gonna give up. A whoa. Pack of How many? A one pack. One pack of flatworms. Okay. <laughs> one pack of flatworms. Hey, that's eight. I, They're. I, I'm I'm telling you. I, I mean, I've been hiding from guys in the morning because I don't want to share them. And I know. Uh, I, I'm gonna whoever wins this, I'm gonna send them a pack of flatworms. Wow. Okay, now that's a big deal. From John Cox, your own personal bag of flatworms from mm -hmm. the TTA. Uh, and this <laughs> is to Nate Bloom. Nate Bloom. Oh, wow. Hey. Oh, Nate Bloom. We, oh, Nate. we know Nate. You know hey, Nate? Know Nate. <laughs> hey, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, fi we fished against Nate like for years and years. Oh wow! He you he yeah. gotta give him a bag of flatworms. Yeah, I, I might I might I might send him a bag and a half. <laughs> <laughs> but half worms, like you yeah. used ones. I'll yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get them used. Ones. I'll chewed up. <laughs> yeah. Oh goodness uh -huh. gracious! Hey, let's get to the business side of Keith Carson now. Okay, congratulations, Nate. By the way, on the flatworms. A uh, like and share the live Facebook feed. We still got. How many left? Five prizes left, Ginge. Five prizes. Okay. Uh, Keith, let's get to your business side of stuff. Um, All right. Uh, uh, backtracking again, good to see you find a home at the NPFL, and, and it's, uh, it's been lucrative yeah. for you over at the Nipful. You've, uh, yeah. you've uh, <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you won the big derb over there. Um, it, you know, I mean, you kind of – is kind of a biter, a nail biter, but you you you, you got the W, and uh, and you know it's a, of course historic for you winning an event in a league's right. inaugural year. Like boom, here's Keith Carson. You're in the history books. You're right there right. in the history of NPFL. So from a fan's perspective, that business uh, side of stuff is working. Okay. Um, yeah, th this is what I really want to know from you. I don't know your business plan. I don't know your hopes and dreams as a tournament angler. And that's what I want to know. Tell, tell, tell me, tell everybody. What do you, well, tell you John. Know. Wait, hold yeah, on. Okay. Hey, hold on one second. Can we, do we have sentimental music? I f I'm feeling kind of sentimental right now, Ginge. <laughs> I don't know. I think John is too. But I want. Yeah, yeah, let's right. talk. Let's talk about hopes and dreams of. Yes, there it is, right there. <laughs> Touched by. An so, I, I you know my plan is somewhat similar to John's. You know where I, I don't know if I can do three tours like he can. I mean, of course, I guess I could. You know, if the opportunity was there. But uh, yeah, I definitely want to do two tours. Definitely, and. Uh, you know, way back to when we were kids, like I already said, John's, his motto was, you can't win if you don't go. So just, you know, go to as <laughs> many awesome. as you can. And that's, uh, you know, and that's, that's really, that's it. Fish as many as possible, you know, you know, keep striking, try to win and cash as many checks as you can. And, uh, you know, get out there and make a name for yourself. But, you know, main thing too is enjoy your, and have fun, you know, make sure you're fishing the way that you want to fish. Um, you know, I try not to pay too much attention to what other people are doing. Uh, you know, there's a lot of new things going on, a lot of new technology and a lot of that stuff works really well, but it's not me, you know, it's just not, it's not my thing. So like, I want to, I want to fish the way that makes me happy and the least frustrated because frustrate, you know, fishing's really frustrating. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> bass, it ain't easy. That's for sure. Yeah. That's for yeah. sure. Especially when you got that entry fee on the line there, you know, you got to cash a check. That's the main goal each tournament. You know, bottom line is cash a check. And, you know, if you're lucky and catch a few big ones, and maybe you win. You know, if not, they'll get that check and keep rolling. But, uh, yeah, I, you know, I just love bassing. What's the love plans? Bassin'. But Glad what's the plans, here. Keith? What do you want to do? So you're going to fish the NPFL and then mm -hmm. you're doing, are you doing opens as well? What's the plan? I mean, like, What's what, what's the, the 2022 business plan for Keith Carson? 
it's still it's you know in my point i'm definitely doing npfl uh probably do some opens uh some some uh you know may, you know and then uh, some some uh jump in the uh the toyota series there um do some of those and uh you know i don't know just see 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 what happens you know so it maybe sounds like you are going to be a tta yeah, yeah, I guess so. Okay. Not not on John's level though. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so so the, the 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 next down from the TTA. You got yeah, the gals yeah. <laughs> back there. I see you got the whole fam with you, John. Oh yeah, the the mosquitoes have came out, and uh, hey, Melissa, so we're all hiding in the truck. Hey, Lil, hey, Nan. <laughs> well, that's a good move, no doubt about it. I yeah, like how. I- that, John, I like how not to change the subject, but to change the subject. I like how the family's <laughs> uh, the family's always with you. Or, you know, not, oh, yeah. not always, but the majority of the time. I don't think you could do your business plan, John, without the girls with you. I no, know, no, it drive I mean, you bonkers. We, we, yeah, we talked about that, and I mean that they're the ones that you know allowed me to uh, fish everything because they're like, hey, we'll just we'll fly to you, you know, and. Um, yeah, I mean it's just, I mean it's worked. Out. I mean they they're putting in just as much effort into it, you know, getting up early and driving and going to the next one and uh, working on stuff, you know, just as much as I am. So uh, it's just cool that they're, uh, you know, they're they're part of the team. Yeah, and a lot of people don't know that um, most of your winning techniques come from patterns and techniques <laughs> that Lil and Nan have developed. Yeah. I, I know that. We I, were just talking about that. We're, and me and Dan were like, they're not even moving the drop shot. And I'm like, I know. And they just keep catching. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> they got to write a book. Lil and Nan's 101 Bass Fishing Secrets. <laughs> yeah, they got them all. Yeah, it'll <laughs> blow Roland's book out of the water. Yeah. <laughs> so, Keith, uh, to, to 2022, you're going to do some opens, of course, still with the NPFL, and then uh, you're going to do some of the, the to- it's called the Toyota Series now? The Shoot. I mean, what are they called? I think it's the Toyota, <laughs> Toyota Series, series. Right? Yeah, the did old, they change the name? Like, starts, the code yeah. Starts. yeah, it'll always yeah. be Ever Starts to me. That's right. me too. Yeah. yeah. It'll always be ever starts to me. That's a Billy Joel. So, he's right there. <laughs> so Keith, we look forward to a, uh, to a bright future. You, I want to tell you something. And I mean this, um, uh, sincerely, as we say on the stray cash show all the time. Um, when, I, when uh, both of you gentlemen, um, I, I've, I've had you on the show before multiple times, but finally, when I get to meet you guys, it's like I've known you guys forever. And I, I, I'm not getting sappy or anything like that. I'm just telling you about like a, like a feeling or a vibe, you know. And uh, mm-hmm. I, I, I'd say I'm not looking for a response or an answer or whatever. I just, you guys, I think that you're that way to a lot of people, not just me. That's what I'm getting at. It's like you're a relatable angler. You're relatable people. And I think that uh, equates to success on on your part. So that that's pretty cool, guys. Pretty cool. Thanks, Pat. Yeah. yeah. I don't even know what to yeah. say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Pat. Yeah, no problem. You're, you guys are you're keeping it real in the <laughs> feel, <laughs> I. <laughs> I heart emoji. You guys do. All right. Hey, all right. Let's get let's get to let's get to uh, to to the deal here to the dynamic duo. You know. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm, oh, I, I was totally. Oh, oh. I'm like blocking out the contest completely. Now we're <laughs> now we're here. Uh, okay, so it is time again for the like and share. If you haven't liked and shared on the uh, Crestliner Facebook or the Straycast uh, Facebook, you're missing out because we still got prizes to give away this time. It's from Omnia Fishing, and Omnia Fishing was yes one of the big uh, contributors to the uh, MX19. Uh, giveaway, which Derek Taylor won. He'll be coming on the show soon uh, here. And uh, we're giving away a $25, as we say here in Chicago, a $25 <laughs> gift card to OmniaFishing.com, courtesy of Omnia Fishing and the Straight Gas. So uh, the winner here this time is, oh, my goodness, did I miss a couple? Uh, what am I doing? Okay, th- uh, Nick Bach. Nick Bach. You won that. Yeah. 
Nice. nice. Nick Bob. Yeah. That's number four. We still got four left. Holy cow. That's that's amazing. What am I doing? Might have wow. to go every four minutes. Yeah, how do I come up with this? We might need... <laughs> We're giving away all kinds of stuff. <laughs> We're giving away this toaster oven. Anyway. Wow. All right. Let's get to the deal. Let's get to the deal. Let's <laughs> let's talk about uh let's talk about you guys. The uh the duo, the dynamic duo, Bass and Best Buds since birth. Um, and, and you guys both, what do we got, Ginge? John, turn your phone down a little bit, the ninja says. Oh, is it, are we getting too much kickback? You're getting a little feed bizzle. There it is. Try talking now, John. Say cucumber now? 512. How about now? That's perfect. Okay. How about now? Hey, per- right. Uh, you guys <laughs> both exude confidence as anglers. Okay, I, I noticed that in your in your stride, in your step. Um, and and uh, <laughs> more so Keith than John. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> but John, you seem to always, and I use this analogy with a lot of anglers, but you seem to Ferris Bueller your way through stuff constantly. It's like it's just like yeah. it's like all of a sudden the John's on no fish, but then he's on the float in the middle of the parade singing twist and shout in front of five hundred thousand people. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm I mean? I'm telling you, it, it happens a lot. Yeah. It happens a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm always planning what I'm gonna do on uh, the next day because I'm not gonna be fishing. And then, like in 20 minutes, I'm like, "Oh crap, I'm just catching a <laughs> Here's one enough. after another." Caught a right seven. Now. Didn't you yeah. do that at the at your win this year? On uh, like you caught one like on the way in, like a bigs. Yeah, if you, well, if it was just because Benji. I saw Benji on the bank, and I had ten <laughs> minutes, and I knew if I went in, I was gonna hear he was gonna he was gonna yell at me. So I was like, I got ten minutes. I guess I might as well yeah. go over here and make a throw. Yeah, you ain't and getting yelled at by Benji. Yeah. I was like, geez. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. The rest is history. But confidence. You got you guys both got confidence. Um, and and I I, I want to ask you guys this because I really don't know. The answer, I, I think I know the answer, but I don't 100% know the answer. And I want to know this about your ang- angling prowess and what you're confident in. Um, so to each of you, what technique are you guys the most confident in? And what, 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 what structure or cover is your most, most confident places to fish? And, what, and what's the lure that you have the most confidence in in that spot. I don't know the answer to that about mm. about you guys. And, and and Keith, go ahead. You go first. Um, it, it's it's kind of tough. I mean, well, I, I guess I better just say flipping, flipping the big weight. Okay. You know, okay. That's uh, yeah, flipping a one ounce. Um, I like I like flipping the Berkeley Creature Hog. Um, and it gets a lot of big bites. That's a it's just a great bait. I have tons of confidence. Anytime that I have a one ounce in my hand and I'm flipping and, uh, you know, I mean, I'm, I want to flip anything that's just topped out. So, I mean, my favorite, my favorite stuff to flip is Hyacins, um, uh, you know, uh, topped out Hydrilla, um, mostly Hyacins. I love flipping Hyacins. Hyacins are beautiful. You know? <laughs> when you hook yeah, a big in are. under Hyacins and the whole yeah. mat just kind of yeah. goes. <laughs> yeah. Wallows. Yeah, the best thing is when you flip in, and as soon as it breaks through, the whole mat lifts up. Yes, you know, and they knock slack in your line oh. and you jack them. Oh, I mean, that's what that's what I fish for. You know, I, that and and bed fishing. I had a washing machine <laughs> once that wouldn't shut off, and when you open the lid, it was like a big <laughs> of water, and that's kind of like what a hyacinth. I, I would wash clothes every day if that <laughs> if that made me think of big ones under hyacinth mats. <laughs> <laughs> but that's your deal. The big weight. I kind of thought that about you for real. I mean, that's how you won uh, the, the derb on Neil Patrick Harris with the three quarter yeah. or, a, or, a, or a one ounce. For and yeah, yeah. That's right. yeah, the big one ounce. Yeah. Okay, so that's your deal. Like, so any topped out cover um, and flipping the big weight, the big stick in the creature hog and just, just going at it, making lots of and flips. just Yeah, yeah, as many flips as I can possibly make throughout a day and yeah, just go and keep it in my hand and you know, you always have those periods where you go a few hours without a bite. And, you know, that's part of, too, that's part of how, you know, John and, 
you know, how he catches them, like in the last 20 minutes. You always hear those stories of guys are like, he didn't, I saw John, he didn't have anything at one o'clock and he comes in with 29 pounds, <laughs> you know, but that's, that's, that's shallow water grinding. You know, sure. when you fish shallow, you're not, you're usually not getting a ton of bikes, you know, you're fishing for five bikes. And, and, and what and you guys are both able to do, speaking of the grind, here's where most guys can't do it. If they're shallow water fishermen, mad deep water fishermen too in dirt. They get to that point where they miss the party. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like you just said, Keith, like John does, like you do. If you don't, like, you know, like Ike and Ellie says, don't stop trying, you know? Right. It's, it's yeah. like if you stop fishing too early or let's just say this, not stop fishing because most guys won't stop fishing. All right. They'll keep going but they stop fishing up here in their heads. Right. You right, know what right. I'm saying? Yeah. So they, I mean, that's, that's the point where you guys achieve success a hundred percent. So John, what's your you confidence? Gotta... What's your confidence? But, um, so, you know, my, mine has changed over the years, you know, for, for a while, I guess it, it just depends on, uh, times of the year too. But man, I like, I used to always look for some color in the water. Um, I liked, I liked like winding, you know, swim jig, chatter, stuff like that. Um, you know, in dirtier colored water. Um, but man, I, I've been finding myself lately. I I've been all about getting in clear water, uh, where I can see the bottom, you know, throwing at the bank and, and, uh, visually just looking for, for bait and fish and whatever it might be. And, and, man, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm going to take the general and rig it a whole bunch of different ways and, <laughs> and sling it around at them, you know, and, uh, and that it's almost like you're hunting them, you know, like you don't know. And you, and some days you'll go and go and, and you won't see, um, you won't see anything, you know, and, and until like those short little moments, like all of a sudden you, know, you run into a little wolf pack and, and then all of a sudden you got 20 pounds in the boat, you know? So, um, that's kind of what I've been doing. I, I like doing that a lot. Um, uh, but but it's it's funny that Keith uh, his is the heavy the you know the big weight flipping in the cover yeah because all those team tournaments we ever fish uh, you know Keith was right behind me like cleaning up you know so I'm yeah. you know, out in the open you know fishing a little more of the open the edge of the mat and Keith would be going into the mat yanking them out you know so it was, them. that was kind of like our deal how we kind of worked together uh, and did so yeah. well you know so yeah yeah dude our teamwork was always just the best we're never fishing the same water yeah you know, right. that that was how i that and then also you know fishing co-angler was how i got good at flipping like you gotta learn where to put the bait to get bit behind someone you know it really you know makes you so much better yeah, he, you know that that whole co-angler thing i mean that a lot of guys came up that way brian thrift brian new you know and sure really good anglers you know you learn a lot it, it makes it it's a, yeah pal yeah fishing behind someone like that it's 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 important to learn that. Hey, John, I got a question for you. This is the the six gazillion dollar question. <laughs> um, <laughs> and 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 John, how do you know when to listen to you, and how do you know when to not listen to you? <laughs> yeah. So, how do you know, John? Uh, yeah. You know, so uh, some you know it is it is it is a fight in my head a lot of times, um, but like I feel like. Uh, you know, when I got that feeling and I'm like, man, you know, this isn't going to work or you need to do this and that, and I, and I don't do it. It's always a giant mistake, you know? Mm -hmm. And I always like, why didn't I do that? I end up doing it late and try to salvage, you know, the tournament. Um, but that's, I mean, that's, I mean, Keith talks about it all the time is just whatever you feel, uh, at that moment, you need to go with it, you know, because, uh, you know, even if you if if you fight it and you don't go do it and you're doing something else, uh, you know, even even just like at Champlain last week, you know, I had a I had a really good first period. I was catching a ton of fish, and I was like, I'm not catching them quick enough. I need to I need to find something else. So I went I went four hours not catching another fish. Oh like my it was goodness. just, and I knew like when I would stop and try these places, you're freaking I was like, out. Yeah, it just doesn't feel right. You know, this isn't what I'm looking for. You know, and I fished it anyways, like wishing. You know. Uh, and then I went back to where at the end, I kind of gave up on finding anything. I was like, I'm going to go back to where I started. And man, I was catching them like every throw, you know? And I'm like, gosh, I'm like, this mm -hmm. is, you know, that was that thing where you're like, you know, 
you're kind of kicking yourself in the butt like, man, you know. But, I, I mean, you, you try to do that to win, uh, but there's times where you got to pull the plug and say, hey, I need to get the points and I need to just – catch as much as I can in the area. Heck yeah. Is, uh, Keith, is that part of being creative as an angler? It, it, this, yeah. I mean, on, I mean, for real, yeah. on the water, off the water, is that all part yeah. of it? I mean, yeah. Creative anglers I, I are the mean, best anglers. There's no doubt. John is the most creative angler I have ever fished with in my life. <laughs> <laughs> he, he is. And I fish towing. I fish with a lot of guys and, and good anglers and stuff. But John is creativity is, uh, well, I mean, that's why he's so good. You know, that's what sets you apart from everybody else is, you know, you, you, you know, you're, you're fishing similar areas or same areas as everybody else, but you're out fishing them. And that's, I mean, I, I'm in my opinion, that's creativity and trust in yourself 100%. and trust in those decisions uh, in, in the moment. No one can make those decisions, but you, you know, and, and, and John's the best at that. in, in my opinion, and, 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 yeah. and may I bring it together, Keith and John yeah, and call it confident creativity <laughs> cc yeah. yes the old cc the ttacc yeah. Oh, yeah. here we go hold hold that thought hold that thought create <laughs> hold that thought mr creative um all right so we got another uh winner for the like and share crest book crestliner facebook page like and share and straight cast facebook page like and share and uh and this time we are giving away a what do I got here? Oh, another Crestliner fun pack. So that's a Crestliner. Nice. Yeah, it's a Crestliner yeah. hat and shirt. Uh, all right, where are we at? Let's see. William Sullivan. You're the winner, Will. Uh, William Sullivan. He won that. I think he fishes ABAs. Does he? Yeah, you guys I know all the so. way. Is this rigged? Same, yeah, is this rigged? <laughs> so, <Yeah. laughs> so we got uh, we got uh, three, four, five. We still got three prizes left. Okay, so we'll do it. Let's do. Uh, <laughs> so uh, hey, direct message, Jay Cos, William Sullivan. Uh, you just won the uh, Crestliner Fun Pack. Boom, right there. So we got two left, right? Three. Oh, I said eight. No, seven. <laughs> two <laughs> how many maths is this science two left okay hey creativity uh you guys both <laughs> see how talk show talk showy i get like yeah. boom right so tell me guys creativity no uh, but but really you guys are creative as anglers john cox you can mm -hmm. go behind guys that are preconditioned and watching their live scan and out there fishing outside and deep ledges and everything else and really seriously you're figuring out different weights of nail weights on a general rigging all <laughs> all six sizes of generals i, I know it, and it does sound uh, sounds a little crazy but it it is like they're every tournament i'm learning something a little bit different about that bait did, and, did, uh, keith he'll be like oh wait they're not hitting the six inch general and he puts the five yeah. inch on and he's oh that's perfect yeah. Like, yeah. why is that yeah. perfect just hook it a little different yeah i mean i don't understand Great. you i've seen it i i've seen yeah it. yeah it, it, you know why else he's creative keith he's it, why john you're gonna hate me right now i'm sorry oh, but this is all for for crestliner but uh <laughs> for the crestliner shell but he's got a secret chatterbait keith do you know oh, that? Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, Keith's got like three of them. Is it? I do. Yeah, I, I, is it I, that I, good, I Keith? Is it that good? Three. Is it that good? I, I won right Patman because of it. I I caught most of my fish flipping. Okay. And then on the last day, I I couldn't get a whole lot going flipping. I picked that thing up with like thirty minutes to go. The live was over, so like people were unsure if I'd win or not by the time the live was over. And then I picked that thing up and I caught like 20, 21 pounds in like 30 minutes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I, and I'm, I, I'm like, John, please. Like, I need like two, like I need more than three. Like you, you, I was like, you have no idea how nervous nerve wracking it is to be out there fishing for a win. And in the back of my head, I know like if I get hung up and I don't get this thing back, that like, that's it because the other two are different colors. They're uh -huh. not all the same color, you know. <laughs> gotcha. So it's like I, <laughs> I gave them one of each. <laughs> yeah, you're so generous. You're so yeah. generous. And, and these are the ones too. 
Yeah. Hey, <laughs> yeah, they're used. Like I had to sharpen the hooks. It's all rusty. All this stuff. And I'm like, you can give me one fresh one, you know? <laughs> hey, John, you know that one in the cup holder at Pickwick? I, I got that one now. But, but John, well, tell, tell everybody or tell them what you want to tell about it. Like, why is um, it good? You know, uh, I mean, it's just it's just uh, one that, you know, they made uh, back in the beginning, you know, um, it's very yeah. similar um, and they kind of just discontinued it and uh, changed it up. And uh, I didn't like the new one as much as the old one, you know, and uh, yeah, he's, still, he's, like, te- he's telling lies, Keith. He's telling all kinds of lies. No, I'm telling no, the truth. No, <laughs> yeah, it's true. I'm telling the truth. It's the truth. It's, just, it's yeah. just an old one that we just make yeah. what make it. No, I know it is, yeah. and you you cherish them. I've I've seen them. You cherish them. You cherish them. It's like oh, you, yeah. you guard them with firearms. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. Hey, let's talk about yeah. some more history and and I want to just tell everybody the coolest thing to watch um, about the two of you guys and your relationship through time is on Bassmaster. Uh, they did it at the classic, and that was you keep laughing at me, but that's yeah, I'm yeah. Serious. <laughs> I, was, I was like, yeah, <laughs> our relationship, yeah. Our <laughs> your partnership, years. yes, we're, it's legal. we're life partners. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. There's no doubt about that. Man, how do you feel about that? <laughs> are you okay with that, Melissa? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, awesome shot of the ring, yeah. Melissa. I like your yeah. style right there. Heck yeah. Hey, why would he? Hey, Keith, why would he trade in a dime for a penny? You know what I mean? Yeah, You're out of I luck. Know. You're out of luck, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, um, I'm going to just, so anyway, let's go over a brief history, and I'm going to say some key words, and either one of you guys can jump in and describe uh, this part of your life history together, okay? The, uh, Ginge, we got any life history music? Let's give them some, uh, some yeah, let's, uh, I mean, some, anything behind a life history. Well, history lesson. So the first thing I want to talk to you guys about. All right, now this is a, this was a little. Uh, do, we, do we got anything, Ken? Okay, he's got it. I'm relaxing. <laughs> it's the history. Aha! Uh-huh, step right up for the history <laughs> of John Cox and. I can't keep it. I can't keep it. I can't keep it. Uh, straight face, Keith. All right. I'm sorry. All right. So, um, Marina Fire. Marina Fire. Oh, man. Who wants that one? I, I didn't think we should have ever brought that up, ever. Marina Fire. I don't want to incriminate anybody, so I don't know what we should say. <laughs> I don't know. We don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Well, yeah. we, can, we can leave it right there. Uh, just you can just Google that if you want to know. <laughs> uh, second question: Marina Fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, <laughs> next question: um, Bloody Tub. Bloody Tub. Oh gosh. Ooh, is uh, that red? Oh wait. So there, there could be a couple things. Oh, that could oh, be wow. well, holy crikeys. Wow. Well, you know both of these. So the well, one could be Red River when we were filleting all the white oh bass because we were gosh. broke. Yeah, oh, that was in yeah. the tub at the hotel. Yeah, but that the, I or the guy we had to repaint the apartment that was murdered in the tub. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's or that Walter. one. Or Walter. Oh, Walter. Or, or Walter. Oh, yeah. God. Wow, yeah. that's sad, though. Sorry. Gosh, I, that I is didn't. sad. Let's not talk about yeah. Walter. I don't want to. I don't want to tear up. Yeah, no. The I'm talking about the uh, the the fish fillet massacre or or the uh, the multiple stab wound victim. <laughs> that's. <laughs> I'm talking about that, happy things. That... Happy things like that. <laughs> the. <laughs> explain the you gotta explain the story now guys come on so that one the one the, the the one at red river we were like starving and we had these striped bass and uh keith was like filling up the tub and he's throwing them in the tub and i'm like dude what and then he starts just cutting into them on the side of the tub oh my god and there's just and there's just blood everywhere and he flays these stripes in a hotel and, room uh, in the hotel, yeah. you're and awful. We cooked, mm-hmm. on, you're we cooked awful. him on like the George Foreman. That's why I don't like eating fish because I, 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 I just it was so bad. And then you remember we were watching the news and there was like a, a do not eat because of the river being flooded or whatever. 
Yeah, yeah, we yeah. ate them anyways. Yeah, we ate them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and then we won the tournament. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Became one there you go, it. superpowers. You became yeah, one with the was. fish, like Clun. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the other one, I'll, I'll backtrack a minute. You guys were handymen and and mm-hmm. and painted apartments, and yeah, tell us the rest about the tub. Oh yeah, God! Geez. So the tub, tell okay, the, the tub one, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, John and I, you know, our dad used to have, my dad used to have uh, contracts and with these apartments and uh, rough parts of town, you know, we, you know, and and so, uh, you know, we regularly would show up to paint apartments and, you know, we painted apartments, a lot of people been murdered in and stuff. And, and this one in particular, the guy was stabbed 87 times. 87 times. Unreal. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and so yeah, the bat, we paint in the back. Yeah. It's horrible. So we go in the unit and there's like we didn't know. So when we when we got the call to paint this, to paint the apartment and the bathtub, we didn't we didn't know someone had been killed in there. We you know. So we go in and there's like, you know, you could tell that the police had finger done fingerprinting, you know, dusting and stuff like that, and all the furniture, everything's out of there. We finished the apartment, painted the tub go to the office and turn the keys in and they're like, are you done? And we're like, yeah. And they're like, you didn't miss anything. And we're like, no, they're like, are you sure? And you didn't miss a closet. You didn't miss anything. We're like, no. And they're like, yeah, some guy was killed in that bathtub and stabbed yeah, 87 times. And we're like, well, what the hell? Oh you know? no. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They you told missed, us afterwards. You just happened to miss yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, we, we knew something was up though. Yeah, we did. So we went. We were like something. Bad. I mean, it just it smelled bad in there. And yeah, like whatever they use, you don't forget. Yeah, yeah, they they use something to clean that place up. Hey, yeah. tell me, tell me what you think about this website, Keith. John Cox Pro Guide Service dot com. <laughs> Pro Bass Guides. Pro Bass Guide. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. John Cox <laughs> Pro Bass Guide Service dot com. <laughs> I think it, I always thought it was just a little long, but it. But he got a lot of trips, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's so long. Yeah, <laughs> and, and he he was busy though. You know, he I remember so when when John and I, you know, when we first started fishing tournaments, and uh, you know, we we you know traveling, start you know fishing opens and stuff, get, getting out of the state. If John had a bad tournament. When we were on the way home, as soon as we got in the truck, he's making calls. I got to get some guide trips. I got to get some trips going. <laughs> he's a hustler. He's a yeah, Florida yeah, hustler. Right yeah, he's yeah. like, never mind yeah. that Roland Martin Marina. We're talking about John Cox Bass Guide.com. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> LFG. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty awesome, man. <laughs> oh, here we are. Oh. Uh oh. It's Ooh. time for a prize again. This one is from Berkeley Fishing. In this Whoa. one uh, is not uh, one, but two Fritz side crankbaits uh, th- because wow. because each of you guys love Fritz sides. So mm-hmm. there it is. And mm-hmm. the winner of this deal right here put Berkeley Fritz side, Justin Timberlake. Wow. <laughs> wow. Holy cow. JT's Man, that's awesome. Awesome that he squats for the show. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't have my spectacles on. It's Justin oh. Trahan. Trahan. Oh. Don't oh, no. mess oh, with yeah. the Trahan. Justin <laughs> Trahan. Uh, direct message. Jay Cos put Fritz side. Straight cast. Facebook page. Right there. You still got a chance. Like and share the Facebook feeds. There's one prize left. One prize left. Uh, it's the mega prize, okay? Like and share the Facebook feed from Crestliner or Streetcast for your chance. One prize left. Um, going on, I want to ask you, uh, and 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 John and Keith, please interject accordingly together about this. I'm going to combine words, and you need to tell me how they relate to your history together, okay? Uh, karate, BMX, and babes. <laughs> <laughs> I know BMX. That's John yeah. for sure. Well, talk to me. Yeah, talk I don't. I don't. I mean, I got I got karate chopped one time by this kid right in the ear. Mm-hmm. Like it was it was so painful. You messed with your ear. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, dude, that hurts. I had a teacher pull me by the ear once to the hallway, <laughs> and <laughs> that's horrible. Like, and that hurt, man. She pulled me. Yeah, she yeah I feel your pain. She wasn't yeah. messing around. I wasn't a good student. Okay, so yeah. that's so John. You were a BM, <laughs> you were John. You were a BMX dude. 
I, I, you know, I like I like riding my bike and jumping it until I crashed and hit my head. <laughs> Bring it back. <laughs> and learned how to turn him and fish because of a brain injury. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> that led to, led you to your creative mind. Yeah. Yeah, really. <laughs> Where do the babes come in? Where do the babes come in? John, it's about Keith, oh. not about you. Oh. Don't, don't feel nervous. Oh, is that the eighth eighth grade party? Seventh grade party, maybe yeah. it was. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Yeah, well, Keith had Keith at his birthday party. Had all the older girls at his at his. I think it was seventh or sixth grade party. Heck yeah, dude! That's what I'm yeah. talking about. Wow, Keith. Yeah, he's. He, I, think, <laughs> I think it was it was like me, Keith, and there was one other kid. I think that lived down the street, and the rest were. Was were it girls. Spencer Doolittle? <laughs> no, I don't think Spencer Doolittle was there. Where he didn't yeah, invite. What was it, Tommy? You're Tommy such a jerk. You Tommy didn't Powell, invite Spencer. Yeah. Why didn't you invite Spencer? You jerk. I was only three guys. Oh, three. yeah. Oh, you keep yeah, the, yeah, I see you're keeping like the average down. No, oh, I'm sorry. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. That was, yeah I'm that helping was my buddies out. But I yeah. see, <laughs> I see Keith Carson like with a big collar. You know, John, like a big cool collar <laughs> shirt. You know, like I see it like I see it like that '70s show or that Dazed and Confused movie or something. You know, yeah. the guys are all in the basement spinning a bottle. You know, <laughs> yeah, no, we were in his mom's living room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> close enough. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's been getting a babe since day one. It's a magnet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, um, Keith, I, I know um, that you were involved unwillingly in a horrific experience in John's life. Um, and that's the time at Bob Rutherford's house, um, <laughs> in the attic when the, the ghost, the ghost, the, the, yeah, yeah, the ghost thing with John and that the ghost yes. was not nice to John. Like, no, that's, that's real. Yeah. No, it, something happened there yeah. that was, you know, it, 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 there, there was two, we were upstairs in the attic. And there's two twin beds and I was in, in, in the twin bed that I was in at the foot of my bed was the doorway. And then beneath the doorway, the stairs went down and I was laying on my back and I had my phone on the belly on my belly. And I was looking at the map of Hartwell where we were and something, I looked beyond my phone and there was like, it was something about the size of a basketball, like rising up in the air, but you could see through it just like some kind of dust. But it was so bizarre. And I looked at jo- over at John. I said, John, look. And it's like something. And as soon as I looked back, it was gone. And I was like, what was that? And that was it. Like, that was, you know, I don't know what it was. But then, I don't know. John, you finished. You had well, you then, had another experience. <laughs> well, and then, and then me, like, we we're both sleeping in the dark. And this thing, like, this thing kisses me on the cheek. <laughs> And I'm it like, it wasn't me. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm like, I, I'm like, oh my Clarify. gosh! And and this thing, you hear it jump off the bed and run, like you hear footsteps run and go through the wall, not down the <laughs> stairs, through the wall, through the wall. And yeah. So we flicked the lights on, and we slept the rest of the week re- week with the lights on. Like we just, <laughs> we just left the lights on. Unreal. <laughs> Un- yeah. Unreal. It was either yeah. a little Brad Rutherford or or, or or it was Bob Rutherford trying to get a look at the map that Keith uh, got. Yeah, on. that's probably that, what that's it was. That's what it was. Just, it was so weird. It, was so, it, just, it made the hair stand up on my arms and it was just Dude, was crazy. that's crazy. That's that's mm-hmm. that's crazy. I, I mean, I'm mean, not at least not, it kissed I, you. Yeah, I, at least it was a friendly <laughs> ghost. Yeah, it's a friendly yeah, ghost, hundred percent. Yeah, no doubt yeah. about it. <laughs> Holy crikey! <laughs> hey, what's the craziest <laughs> hotel you guys have ever stayed in? Oh, oh my god, we'll I know. Be here all I, night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> we don't stay in nice places. <laughs> you know what was a bad one was. Uh, Actually, it wasn't that long ago. Okeechobee, Royal Inn, down in Clewiston, and the shower wouldn't drain. Oh. Remember? And there was like sewage like coming out of the shower Horrific. drain. Yeah, yeah, that was and nasty. and I yeah, and I think I, I we took a shower and I put like one foot on top of the sill, like of the shower, and the other foot <laughs> on the wall. 
yeah. So I didn't touch the. Yeah. yeah. Thank yeah, God that you're agile. Bad. Yeah. Yeah. Really. <laughs> that one was bad. Oh and my I, God. I would say probably the the second worst one was that that same place, uh, but or it was down the road there in Clewiston. And uh, I think I might have been in there. I don't know if we ever stayed there, but I stayed there with Benji. And I was in there, and the water was getting cold. And the knobs were outside the shower over by the toilet. <laughs> and I was like, Benji, can you give me a little more of that hot water? Oh, good. Yeah. And he had to come in there and turn the hot water on <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> hey, you guys ever been in a just a knockdown, drag-out fight? You ever me and done? Yeah. No. No? Never, never been – never – had a, a brawl of any kind? I don't think no, so. Yeah. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> I hear Melissa laughing over there. Somebody like... <laughs> I know one story we won't talk about on the air. But anyway. <laughs> hey, um, were you in bands, Keith? Like, you're an awesome guitar player. Were you... Oh, I don't know. I don't know about that. It, I, that's what I always thought about Keith. I'm like, man, he's got he's got all these talents, and he wants to fish. That's what always blew yeah. my mind. You know, he like <laughs> he's so good at all. Even the piano, the piano just blows my mind. And, yeah, uh, and he decides he want you know wants to fish. Dude, so. you <laughs> you play the piano too, huh? Mm-hmm. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I just you know you know so at a young age, my my aunt, uh, my aunt Margie owned a music store and I'm the youngest of three brothers. And she told us that, you know, each of you need to pick an instrument and learn to play it. Like, cause well, I own a music store and you just, you should. So I started (laughs) off. Yeah. So I started with the saxophone and I, and I actually played the saxophone because Lisa from the Simpsons played it and I was five (laughs) years old. And so I was like, I want to play the Simpsons, the saxophone. But then as I got older, it became the piano and the guitar and now it's mostly guitar because i don't have a piano you know in, the, in my house but uh, <laughs> awesome well, we got a but, jam sometime we'll talk and yeah and, and we'll get we'll teach john something like cowbell or triangle yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it, it, it'll be it'll be amazing it'll be amazing hey um i think we need to keep it uh, uh um keep rolling here all right and uh and bring on uh the mx19 winner Derek Taylor. What do you guys think about that? Yeah. Bring him on. You, you want to bring him yeah. on? Let's let's, let's in, bring him on. Yeah, let's interrogate yeah. this guy. What do you yeah. think? Well, let's, yeah. let's find out what is what he's really gonna do with yeah. this thing. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what he can do here. That's it. Uh, uh, J- uh, are are we good? Do we need a little more time, Ginger? You tell me. I can keep going. All right, he's got him. He's bringing him on in. Derek Taylor, he won. The MX-19 through the winabassboat.com, which was wow. a- amazing. Like, a gazillion entries. And John said it. Uh, I can't remember where it was, John. We did some show or something together. And and you said it's going to change somebody's life. Right. And, uh, 100%. And lo and behold, it's going to change Derek Taylor's life. Right. I, I'm honestly, I, I wasn't sure after everything was done. I was like, wow, do we, should we give that away? <laughs> did we not? Like, I was kind of wondering. I was like, did, did, it, really, did it already happen? I haven't heard anything. Uh, so it's, it's been so cool. You know, we're going to get to meet the guy and uh, yeah, I mean, I'm cool. I'm cool. Whatever he does, you know, I just, uh, you know, I'm just curious to see. Yeah. hundred percent. Now the MX 19, the big launch was, was last week. And this is the uh, the official Bass and Talk Show launch party, so people have had a little chance to to simmer in the uh, simmer in the MX nineteen. But I know both of you guys have had a chance to look at this boat, and uh, man, I, I mean, it's pretty cool. It's basically the boat you guys are running now, minus two feet. And, right. Yeah. I mean, it's yep. a, it's a dream machine, and it has John's name on it. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> and, and and speaking of a boat with uh with John's name on it, ladies and gentlemen, here is the MX19 Crestliner winner. Derek Taylor. Yes, sir. 
What's up, bud? How you doing, Derek? Uh-oh. <laughs> he's in shock that he was. Yeah, yeah. He's like, still he's in a, total yeah. shock. He has awesome headphones, yeah. though. That's yeah, they fun. are pretty cool. <laughs> hey, Derek, can you hear it. us? I've got no audio. Oh, Hey, we can hear you. There's Derek Taylor. We can, we can hear, hear you now. now. Can you hear us? Uh-oh. Hit the uh, hit the uh, the button with the three buttons, and then the one with the seven buttons, and then you should have. <laughs> you should have I, I think it's the one the the one with the microphone. Unmute. We can, well, we can hear Derek. He can't hear us. Say something, Derek. Or he can't hear us. So that was no. Weird. He's got a bunch of holes uh, behind him. He's got some plaques. I see he's a derber. He's got a plaque behind. Oh him. yeah. Oh wow! You yeah. got rods back there. He's all ready to go. He's in the trophy room. This and that, Ginge. What do you think? Texting him, trying to figure it out. He can hear. He we can hear him. Oh, <laughs> Derek Taylor, MX twenty, <laughs> MX nineteen. <laughs> Derek, read my lips. How yeah. does it feel to win the boat? <laughs> it's not working. Sorry, John. I hate okay, guys. I am on. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, it's Derek uh, Taylor. Yes, yes, we did it. Congratulations. Woo! Technology is like. great until That's it doesn't work. Like. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing, bud? I am great. You man. figured it out. Great. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've been watching you guys for the last hour and a half. If I'm not watching you guys on MLF or otherwise. So, uh, John, you've been costing me some time at work because I spend a little bit more time watching that than I do uh, working. So uh, I'll be glad when I'll be glad when your season is over. I hope your boss ain't, ain't uh, watching unless you're your uh, boss. She's right next door as long as I get my stuff okay. done. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> well, congratulations, Derek, on the, M- Thanks, guys. On the MX-19 victory, dude. Yeah, it's been it's been a crazy crazy journey. I, just before I start, real quick, I want to thank my wife. Yeah, bud. For all the crap that she's had to be dealing with, not just the last since June since I've won this thing, but all the other stuff that I do in regard to fishing and the club and the Southeast Texas Bass Nation and everything and all the phone calls. She puts up with a lot. And uh, John, you're lucky you got a good one right there beside you. I don't know about you, Keith, but uh, if you don't have one, you better get one. He does. But, yeah. uh, that, that's, uh, you know, she's my rock. I mean, I've, I was in a tournament this, this year, and I was about ready to give up. And I texted her. I said, I'm about to leave. I'm done because it was a two-day tournament. She goes, no, you're not. You got this. And uh, I zeroed that day, went out the next day, and had a top ten. She's so, his Benji, wow. John. That's she's on, on Rayburn. On Rayburn. So, anyway. <laughs> Nice. Good job. Good deal. That's Thank awesome. You. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, it's been a, it, it's been a crazy journey over the last 15 years. I've had a lot of boat woes, um, bought a boat, blew the motor, found another boat, smelled like brand new fiberglass and I opened it up, Uh-oh. swap, swap the motors, Uh-oh. bought a brand new, uh, Mercury, uh, four stroke 150. Good choice. Fought leaks determined, uh, that, the transom was bad. I had to wait a little bit before I got a new transom. So this last year is the first year that I've been in a boat that was 100% complete, put power poles on it, good graphs and everything else. And then this happened. So it just goes <laughs> to show you, God, <laughs> God will throw some crap at you. I guarantee you. But, uh, you know, and I've, and I've, well, since I've won this thing, I've, I've done a lot of soul searching. Like, you know, there's so, so many other probably more deserving people that, that uh you know this could be awarded to and um you know if you uh those that um basically you have not because you ask not and i'll be honest with you i've asked god for this um just like the lottery too but you know <laughs> it's like if i if i did this you know I'll promise him hey you know i'll do good things with it and uh i already do a lot of charity work through fishing and uh, a lot of volunteerism and so um this will this will go towards that as well. And so I'm so excited and uh, uh, sponsor a high school kid in a high school tournament who got accepted to OSU today, but his, uh, I think nice. his heart is maybe Auburn or Mississippi state. Okay. And uh, <laughs> he was, he was 13 out of a 300 in the uh, Texas high school bass association last year. So nice. uh, we're excited for this year. And we're going to put that uh, Crestliner MX 19 
to good use this next year. Heck yeah, man. Cool. Good deal. So what was the deal like? Where did you... Uh, tell us the procedure. So uh, fr- walk us through. How'd you hear about the contest? What was going on? Where'd you, where'd you first hear about all this? Well, I'm a Facebook flipper um, to probably in my to my demise. But, you know, I, I really don't remember, but I'm sure it was a Facebook ad. It might have been to Wired to Fish, I think. And um, so I entered the contest and really I just kind of forgot about it. And then on uh, June 23rd, I get this strange phone call at work. It's about 9.45 in the morning. I sit at my desk, look at it, and I'm like, oh, that's spam. Just ignore it. And then <laughs> about, two, about 10 minutes later, I checked my email and said, hey, this is uh, Matt Johnson. I'm the CEO of uh, Omnia Fishing, and uh, we're the company giving away the, the Crestliner boat. Of course, Crestliner was, too. And um, he said, hey, we have your entry. and wanted to ask you a few questions. Do you have a good phone number I can call? I'm like, okay, what's the catch? You know, just a little optimistic or yeah, pessimistic, I should say, yeah. you know, so many scams and everything. And so I was like, yeah, you got the right number. I think you just tried to call me. Just give me a call anytime. Of course, five minutes, he calls me back and uh, said, Hey, you know, just do you remember entering the drawing and just chit chat and said, Hey, um, we, uh, we had a drawing this morning and we had like a hundred entries and we drew your name. And I sat there probably with a blank stare, probably with my mouth, or my jaw probably on my lap i don't know but uh yeah uh he said you won i'm thinking okay i won the garcia stuff you know the berkeley stuff you got you know, some like, dry lean fishing yeah exactly <laughs> and he said no you won the boat you won the whole package so immediately i started going back and like crap this is a fully loaded mx19 with a 200 mercury pro xs four stroke yeah bud with dual blades yeah bud with uh Lawrence HDS Live nines on it and a flipping ghost trolling motor. Yeah. Which was gonna be my next trolling motor. That was my next upgrade. And John's so, signature. John yeah, and John's signature. Yeah, I mean signature <laughs> is on there. I need him to sign my live wills. Maybe I'll have a little <laughs> luck that way. Him and me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I mean, and then the more I started watching it, I see it I, it was it was a killer though, because Two weeks later, my wife and I, we went on a, a cruise, the first cruise out of Galveston. We had no issues, by the way. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I contacted uh, Matt. I said, hey, I just want to make sure you know that I do want this boat. You know, in case you can't get in touch with me or whatever. <laughs> you we better had the know. Social, yeah, we had the social media plan and uh, on the boat. And then somebody texted me about that Wednesday and said, hey, Wired to Fish just did this video on, on this boat. And it was killing me because I couldn't watch it. So I got my buddies. They're sitting there texting me pictures Which is, it's and an screenshots amazing and video. everything. <laughs> I'm like, golly, you're killing me. I mean, it's like every week, uh, Crestliners, they're sitting there putting uh, this little snippets and blurbs and everything. I'm like, God, guys, come on. Let's release this thing. I'm ready for it. So, yeah, um, you know, Crestliner said we'll go into production in uh, uh, probably the middle to end of September. It'll be a brand new boat. It won't be the one that they're pulling around to all the events and so forth. So, uh, I'm really excited. I've got to sell my boat now, but uh, just when I got it the way I wanted it, but that's okay. I think we can, I think we can deal with that. A brand new yeah. boat. Yeah. It's a brand so, new yeah, boat, dude. It, the funny thing is, is that I, uh, well, there's a lot of irony in this whole thing, but one of the things is that uh, I asked the guys at, at Omni, I said, Hey, let me know before you release this, because I've just told a few people, I didn't want anybody to know. I just wanted to make sure this whole thing was, was going to work out. My apologies. You wanted to make sure it was legit. That's what he... Abs- Absolutely. Yeah. I didn't want to get my hopes up. You yeah. Know? Be like you just Santa gave Claus your social security coming. number away. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And uh, then all of a sudden they release it and I start getting these texts and these emails and calls. And I'm, is this really you? Is this really you? And the ironic thing is there's in Montgomery near where I live on, uh, over near Lake Conroe. Uh, which is my home lake. There's another guy named Derek Taylor who spells his name the same way. Uh oh. And I've get texts about his stuff, you know, when he does good on uh, either the Texas Stream Trail or whatever circuits he fishes or the uh, the uh, the big bass tournament. So I'm thinking, yeah, and I hope they've got the right Derek Taylor, but I don't think his email is the same. So <laughs> so we're pretty good. It's you, Derek. It is. Yeah. You. <laughs> it, 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 yeah, it's, but it's 100 uh, you. You know, the only thing that, you know, I've been doing a little punch list and, and, and dreaming and, uh, you know, I, I plan on adding uh, a power pole charge and active target and, of course, a boat cover. 
and a hydraulic jack plate and lithium, some probably maybe some lithium batteries. John, I hear that uh, if you add a jack plate and lithium batteries, you can pretty much drive that thing to work, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> <Pretty> much. <laughs> now, John, John goes through the forest in his. Yeah, I've well, seen it, and and the great thing is, is John fishes the same way that that I do. When I when I had that top ten this year on Rayburn, uh, I launched and I idled about five minutes, and I didn't fish any deeper than about five foot, and had a limit including the That's five deep. pound kicker, and and so uh, you know I've been through a lot. I'm type one diabetic, but then I look at guys like. Uh, Oh, you know, um, Clark Winlet, who you had on last year, last week, David Dudley, um, you know, and even Matt Lee, who had a pretty good week this week. They're all type one diabetics too. So there's, there's mm. definitely no excuses for me for, for what I can do, but, um, you know, I'm, I'll be 45 next month. I don't know that I can do what John does. He's like Superman, <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, ah, it's never, used... you can do it. You can do it. You <laughs> oh it. yeah. I, no. I, I, Absolutely, but my my heart's not in there. I mean, that's that's just helping other people is where my heart's already always been. And uh, you know, what's funny now is guys used to ask me and say, "Well, when are you getting your boat fixed? When's your boat going to be back?" And now it's, "When is your? When are you getting your boat?" When you get that's your it. Boat. When your new boat? <laughs> yeah. So I got a lot of guys that are wanting to test drive it. So once of I get it, I'll let you. You're gonna, you're gonna let, have a lot of new friends, Derek. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I, I think it, t it uh, tests well on uh, rough water, and Lake Conroe was one of the roughest places you can get on a weekend. So yeah. uh, I might need a chiropractor after that, but yeah. Um, <laughs> so but, have you been uh, studying the MX-19? I have been studying the MX a lot. I actually contacted them uh, right after I won it before the uh, specs were released, and um, I thought that I might have to get some real estate on it or put a house on it because it's so big. I heard that decks with 40, 40 square feet. And then, of course, I saw John and Keith, their little blurb at the, at the Classic. And I'm like, good grief. Yeah. They, uh, they're going to yeah. they're gonna put an air mattress on this thing here in a minute. They're so. living on it. <laughs> Or I got bunk on. beds in the back of mine. <laughs> yeah, what? Bunk beds? Yeah. Yeah. Activity. yeah. Activity. So, I mean, let's sure. get to it. Let's talk a little bit about this sure. dream machine, the uh, the MX-19. And, and, and first off, um, I want you to hear th this, Derek, and I want to ask the question to, to, to John and Keith. Why do you got, you guys are professionals. You pay your light bills by bass fishing. Why, why do you trust Crestliner? Why is it Crestliner that, that you trust? Well, why, John? Um, you know, I honestly, um, it's just one of those things where, you know, Keith bought the one uh, to go alligator hunting in and, you know, got the, you know, built this relationship with them. And, um, man, it's just, it's just, it's just what I've run year after year after year. And, uh, man, I love it. Like, I, I, I get in other guys' boats in the morning and uh, I'm just like, I'm so thankful for my boat when I get back in it, you know, and I have all the space and stuff and it, yeah. it is, and it's the same thing when mm -hmm. I dump my boat in and, and if someone's in my boat, they're like, man, like this, like this, this, the fishing is just, you know, there's so much space on it. So sturdy, you know, and then they go jump in their boat and it's like, you know, it's a lot narrower and uh, just not as much room, you know, it's More just room uh, than any boat I've really ever been in. I, I, yeah. I, and then, yeah. It, it really and then, yeah, the more, the, huge. Right. The more people that, that get them uh and then their buddies get in them and stuff and they, they everybody realizes how stable they are um that's going to be the that's going to be the difference maker and people you know buying that boat over other boats it's just because how it's it's just so sturdy you know it doesn't rock at all i mean it's um it's really a great boat so keith the number one thing that people say to me of why they don't want to get an aluminum boat is flat out nah, nah. I'm I'm a fiberglass guy. I'm I'm a fiberglass guy. Right. I, I mean, it, and I understand. I, I understand that. But what do you say to that, Keith? Yeah. So, like, it, what I've noticed about talking to people, you know, th those guys who are strictly fiberglass boat guys, what they care about is speed. That's the the common denominator where they're all like, mine goes seventy nine and mine goes seventy seven, and I'm like, who cares? Like. How many times do you race some ra or race to your spot and you think, oh, I got to beat somebody, and then you get there and there's nobody there for like hours? Like, <laughs> like that happens all the time to me, you know. And it's like it doesn't matter. And then when you catch them, 
usually, like John said, you know, you're, you're going down the bank, you go for hours without a bite, and then you run into a wolf pack and you catch 20 pounds in like 20 minutes. So it's like, does it even matter how fast you go? You know, I, I don't think so. These boats are quick, though. My my MX-21, I've hit 68 in my, really? uh, with a little chop on the water. Mine don't run. Nice. Yeah, so it's not like it's slow, right? But no, it's not running 80. And that's and, with the, and Pro, then, the Pro XS250. Pro XS250, I got a four-blade, 24-pitch Fury on there. Uh, the thing runs You're great. Welcome. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, <laughs> I could have had no problem. <laughs> I, I actually I'm, started I'm, off with the I, 22 pitch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm running like yeah. my probs worn down to like a 15 pitch. <laughs> like no. I'm having to just <laughs> cruise around, and my my nice new four blade is on Keith's boat. <laughs> yeah, I, I like how he added that in too, John. I like how he added yeah. that. <laughs> you see that, Derek. <laughs> yeah, I, and I, I totally agree with uh, Keith. So I bought my motor in 2018. Now, granted, I had a, a year off because of a transom problem, but uh, I have a little over 16 hours in three years. So wow. I launch, go a little bit, and I like to fish. You just put that in like yeah. motor down. The, yeah. Sometimes to my detriment, but yeah, I mean, I love, I, I like to, you know, I, I started in a Luna boat, a 17 foot Monarch. That uh, mm-hmm. we did uh, at 86 that we just sold to, to my neighbor. It ever, it actually has never left the neighborhood. It's crazy, but uh, and he just redecked it. But my buddy Jeremy and uh, that I grew up with fishing farm ponds and my my buddy uh, Shane. I mean, we put some hours on that thing. We'd launch it because we couldn't go in the main lake because it was just too rough. Yeah, man. And we we'd go up these creeks just like John Cox. And I'm looking at what he's doing. I'm like, my God, this reminds me of my my teenage years and so forth. So well, now you can do uh, it again. Oh yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. You're, getting, you're getting close, Derek. You're getting close. And let's oh, I'm there. And yeah. it's a tank. Now this is this is. Think about it. You know that this is a thick aluminum, Keith. You know, yeah. Uh, uh, you know, yeah. Derek, John, you guys know one point two five. Two five. Yep. Everywhere, mm-hmm. not mm-hmm. not just the bottom, not. It, it's everywhere. It's the sides. It's the bottom. It's thick aluminum aircraft grade aluminum. Right, yep. dude, running and it's in. super buoyant. That's it, nuts. it runs yeah. great. Yeah, ten inches, ten inch draft, bro. Oh, I thought it was like four inches. Four. Oh my god, <laughs> it's it's <laughs> yeah. It's four no, inches. That's you bring in. John <laughs> John looks at that and says, "Hold my beard." Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> no, it's got a ten inch rise and a four inch draft. You are exactly right. Yeah, You're exactly okay. right. And, and, and Derek, you you said. You said it yourself, 40 square feet of front yeah. deck. Dude, that's insane. Can you imagine well, the great, that? Well, the great thing about it is, and, you know, my plans for it is that, you know, have somebody on the back. Actually, I'll put them on the front, probably my my high school angler, because he fishes better than I do. And kids are awesome. But uh, <laughs> the back uh, is massive that back well. is massive as well. Yeah, exactly. A hundred percent. Giant live wells. Same uh, deal as the MX-21. 45-gallon live well. Yeah. 45 gallons. Mm-hmm. I mean, that, mm-hmm. that's a tournament vessel. That's a tournament yep. vessel. Uh, yeah. Um, it'll it'll put those in it, I think. Look at you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> five of them. That's, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's a 10 from Conroe. I caught in my very first individual tournament, and I had to take the end, the, uh, the live wheel divider out of the boat that I had at that time just to get it in there. Just them in there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, if you could, you know, just gonna start, you know, start big. But anyway. <laughs> the, yeah, might as well, right? Absolutely. Right. Hey, um, the uh, fiberglass council, of course, just like on the on the XF, on the on the MX twenty one, and now on the the MX nineteen fiberglass uh, council with C deck accents. Pretty schnaz. Pretty schnaz. I'm getting yeah. hyped up for your boat, Derek. I'm sorry. I'm getting you. I'm getting, yeah. I'm getting Thanks. All, all, all hyped up for the you know I already can't sleep, right? <laughs> my, wife, my wife says I snore, and I tell her I'm not snoring. I'm dreaming about that MX-19 with that 204 stroke, and that's the motor run, and that's not the, the snoring. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. You're good, Derek. You're good. And, 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 and what do you dream about the storage on that boat? Derek, I mean, like, I know well, you're just going to fill that well, storage up, aren't you? You know, I said I've had some boat woes over the years, so I've had a lot of backseat opportunities from a lot of guys that I very, very much appreciate. And I bring a lot of stuff. I don't, I organize it pretty well, but I organize a lot of stuff. And my little 18-and-a-half-foot fisher that I have now, I've got 24, 25 rods in that rod locker. 
Wow. <laughs> wow. Well, guess what? You could put 49 in this <laughs> yeah. <one>. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. And uh John and John's family. All the girls fit in one Yeah, side. I saw that. Yeah, That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Melissa, Lil, and Nan were in one side, and, and then Melissa's yeah. parents were in the other side. Yeah, my wife has al already uh, requested a second console. She don't go out with me much, but when we do this Kids Unlimited Charity Tournament every October, um, she's been with me. She don't like to go fast. At least my boat now has a second console, but I've been in boats that, that I've borrowed that have it. So she, she don't like the to win. win exactly exactly yeah when, so it, when john it, brings red his dad fishing red hangs out in the back battery box until they get to the good spot and then <laughs> right. you know, hops out there and, how's red doing john i'm sorry i didn't even ask you yet how's red doing good i, I haven't uh i haven't seen him in a couple weeks because i haven't been home but uh i think uh after i get back from uh minnesota i think uh i think i'm gonna go see him for a little bit cool go hang out <laughs> yeah <laughs> mom and pa's house Hey y'all! Yeah. The uh, the MX nineteen is slated to be the ultimate aluminum bass fishing rig. Um, I, I see it. I mean, I can't wait. I'm gonna be fishing that boat next year. Derek is gonna be fishing in that boat next year. My question is: Will John and Keith downsize? Will you lose two feet? And go to the MX mm -hmm. nineteen next year. Uh, I mean, I, I, I mean honestly, I'm losing sleep about it. That's yeah. one thing that really because I'm we're not allowed to swap boats and tournament trails now, so we have to whatever we start in, we have to finish in. And uh, I I want to get one. I, I'm going to get one 100, percent and and then I'm going to have to make my decision really quick uh, <laughs> whether I'm just going to run that one or run a twenty one. What are you thinking, Keith? It so it's a it's a tough decision, you know. Well, first, you know this. Too, so going into twenty one, it's a big it's a big boat. It goes against a lot of what you know how John and I started fishing the seventeen eighteen foot aluminums. But man, this boat is awesome. Just today, <laughs> I, I ran out on Sturgeon Bay, and it's it was blowing twenty five thirty miles an hour out here, and I can go through the waves no problem. It's actually it actually runs like a fiberglass the 21 nice. does Amazing. um and it floats in like four inches so it's yeah. like i'm getting the best of everything um so yeah so it is kind of it is a little nerve-wracking thinking about going down to the 19 and how how would that handle waves uh versus the 21 and stuff um but uh, i'm sure it's going to be i'm sure it's going to be really good um so you know i, I don't know I mean, well, I, i'm really uh, i'm excited first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they, or Derek's go over by Derek's house and run. Yeah, his. I mean, John, if you want to swap graphs, you can come down and run mine on Raven or something, and we'll do some waypoints. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's, he's a wise guy. Hey, uh, a couple other uh, points about the uh, about the MX nineteen. Again, um, forty gallons of fuel uh, that the, that it holds important uh, uh, for those those long runs. Again, a giant storage. Uh, in the front, lockable storage in the front, uh, room for four batteries uh, in the back, um, and John's dad, Red. Uh, again, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and powered by the Mercury Pro XS. The uh, Crestliner MX-19 will be available at your, your local dealers in the fall. In the fall, it'll be available. So it's right now, you're not going to really go into your, your local marina and say, let me see the MX-19. They're in production. Uh, they will be uh, showcased at showrooms in the fall. And uh, the new MX-19, um, it's a launch party, guys. Launch <laughs> party. You know what I'm talking about? And Derek won an MX-19. Have you ever heard of that besides, like, Okay, yeah, I, I of course you as Derbers know guys that have won boats as tournament winners, but this is this is a drawing for a life changing ultimate aluminum mm -hmm. water sled dream tin rig. Come on, man. Yeah. Come on, dude. That's what that's what <laughs> dreams are made of. Yeah. That's what dreams are made of. So, mm -hmm. Derek, I'm gonna let you know something here. We, there's a little thing going on um, between the uh, the Crestliner. Uh, pro team okay and uh they have this this contest about like what they know about boats about their particular models okay and and i'm gonna i'm gonna I, I don't know quite the running 
total right now if it's John or if it's it's Keith winning. Hey, wait, do we have one more prize to give away, Jinch? Oh, yeah, there it is. One more prize. <laughs> what do we got one? Jinch? Okay. Uh, one more before we get into this, the to the to the to the the grand finale for the winner take all pro team extravaganza game show. Uh, we're giving away one more prize. And Derek, are you paying attention? I'm paying attention. Derek, are you paying attention? I'm not paying. But I'm not paying for both, but I'm okay. paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're you're giving away a prize, Derek. Awesome. Let's yeah, go. You're giving away something from the house because you won an MX19. So we're making you give something away too on the on the, the Crestliner show. So what do you want? <laughs> what do you want to give away from the house? It could be anything. From the house. Yeah. It could be a bait. It could be um, a nine volt battery. It can be um, <laughs> spinach. Um, it could be Prince Albert in a can. Um, I don't know. Are there are there any generals available? <laughs> no, you're giving stuff away. Not oh, I'm us. giving stuff no, away. You oh. already won a boat, bud. Man, you know, I don't. You, you know how <laughs> you got to give back, and then you get more. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Wow. So, so you got to give. The, you got to give a lucky viewer the the. You got to give him something, bud. What are you giving him? <laughs> you know, this is this is all like a uh, surprise, but uh, maybe I could sign that for him. What is it? Nice. Oh, I, oh my goodness. No, you wow. need that for you. That's your <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you don't, no, no. No, you they can. wanted a, hey, they wanted a boat. We didn't say we had to give them an extra boat. How about boat. give them a half bag of any worms? Send them a half, yeah. half sack of any worms. Man, I've got so much stuff in my tackle storage. I'm gonna be cleaning it out here. Okay, well quick. then you're gonna send them the Derek Taylor MX19 Victory Winner Pack, and the winner of that is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now I know what you're talking about, James. I don't know how to say this. Jared Matt Mataz Matazinski. Jared Matazinski. Matt <laughs> Matazinski. Yapkas. He knows what I mean because he's got to be Polish. Jared Matazinski. Uh, direct message, and you won um, an MX-19 from Derek Taylor. Derek Taylor's gonna gonna send Picture. you an MX-19. <laughs> uh, all right, are you guys ready to, for the for the pro team title? We're gonna uh, we're gonna game show it up, guys. Are, are, I mean, so Derek, basically, it's uh, it's it's in the form of of Jeopardy. You have to answer in a question form, okay? Uh, we'll uh, and uh, John and and Keith are very knowledgeable. Are you sure you want to play this, Derek? Sure. Are you sure? I'm good. Okay. Yep. Okay. It's easier than fishing, catching them. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> All right. Maestro, give me a beat whenever you're ready. Let's get game show. Let's get game show with these guys. This is for all the marbles. Ah, yes. It's the Crestliner Pro Team MX-19 Spec Game with Derek Taylor, John Cox. The Cox girls in the back. Lil Nan and Melissa. Hey, girls. You can play, too. <laughs> Keith Carson. Somewhere in, somewhere in uh, West Wisconsin. Keith Carson. You're in Wisconsin. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you're in Wisconsin. yeah, I'm in Wisconsin. In, yeah. Uh, in Sturgeon West Bay. Wisconsin. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> the first uh, question goes to champion John Cox. John? Oh. Yes. John? I'm, I'm picking. I'm picking this. Uh, okay. John, how much can you get someone in a MX-19 for? Jeez, oh, Pat. That, that's an easy one. <laughs> 37000 <laughs> and I think it makes uh, $300 payments a month. About 300 bucks um, a month. 37 k yeah. 300 bucks yeah. a month for an MX-19. That's it's, it's nothing. All right. Hey. Is he right? He's a champ. Yeah, he's a champ. Yeah. He's, he's right on that one. Okay. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. All right. Let's see here. I, I, this is amazing. that uh, that uh, And you know what's on the line here, Derek, right? You're MX-19. <laughs> uh, Derek, you gotta find me first <laughs> don't worry matt johnson at omnia has all your info yeah I know. <laughs> and so does the entire crestliner team the, uh, what is the this question is to you derek okay what is the side depth of the uh of the mx19 
That would be just a little less than most of the bass I fish or I uh, catch, and that's going to be 24 inches. Wow! Wow! You got it! That's wow. a, point, a point for Derek Taylor. He has been studying the MX-19. He has been. <laughs> one, one for John. I'm keeping this even up. I'm, 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 I'm keeping it even up. Uh, well, so there's one for John and one for, for Derek Taylor. Okay. Uh, and uh, uh, let me ask you this here. So what is the total boat package length, Derek? Total boat package length of an MX-19. I'm I can answer this one because I've seen some guys post on the, the well, Crestliner Facebook page. But yeah, 25 foot, 7 inches. 25 foot? How did, come on. Wow. Come on. That's two for DT. <laughs> two for DT. One for JC. A lot of studying. That's the only way I can get by until I get my book. And, uh, and, <laughs> and now what I'm going to do is, uh, is give it uh, the rest of them. To KC in the Sunshine Band. <laughs> and uh, uh, Keith, I have to ask you. Keith? Yep. What is the boat only weight of an MX 19? Uh, okay, so the boat only weight, I think, is uh, 1,834 1, pounds. How do you even know that? That's correct. I, <laughs> that's 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 correct. Like he does study I, stuff, John. He just I do. Stuff. I mean, yeah, I, he's, yeah. he's I I honestly didn't. Know. Like I gave you the easiest <laughs> question of them all, John. I'm just like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's 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 absolutely ridiculous. Oh, okay. Now, now here is the uh, what is the chine with? This is to you, Keith Carson. The chine width. Okay. Okay, so the chine width is a little bit less than the beam of the boat. Okay. You know, the so so the chine width down down below that that comes in at 74 inches. 74 inches. And and are you ready, Keith? I'm just gonna let you let you try here. And 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 if not, then John or Derek can steal. I, I I'm giving you this up because of your hopes okay. and dreams and aspirations. What is the beam? The beam. Okay, well the the beam the beam's a little bit wider. That's up top. That's ninety seven inches. Ninety seven inches, ladies and gentlemen. That means that Derek Taylor <laughs> is the winner of the Crestliner <laughs> Pro Team. Yeah. This is the only way I'll ever beat. This is the only way I'll ever beat John Cox and Keith Carson. <laughs> well, I didn't want Keith to take your own boat from you. You worked so hard for it there, Derek. Yeah. You worked so hard for it. <laughs> Derek, again, congratulations. Amazing, you, amazing, life-changing moment um, that you won this boat. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, for more on the MX-19, go to Crestliner dot com check it out take the tour uh look at the cool video that that uh, wired to fish did it, it's pretty awesome john cox um best of luck to you uh the remainder of the season and um and i hope you get some rest finally dude but you look great <laughs> you look great yeah, yeah. and, 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 and Thanks, I, I attribute that to the energy that that lil and nan and melissa give you Oh for, yeah, for sure. Yeah. They they keep your your spirit up and thank and thanks for sharing uh, John with the with the Bass Galaxy and and the Crestliner family tonight, ladies. We appreciate that. Oh, yeah. thanks for putting it all together, Pat and <laughs> Derek. Awesome job. Hope you enjoy the boat. Um, thanks, maybe Jeff. I'll see you when I get over to Texas. Heck, heck yeah! And and Keith Carson, we Look wish you the best of luck in the rest of your endeavors. I know you're you're getting ready for the big Winnebago Derb on NPFL and. And, yeah, uh, and and we just know we'll see uh, a hella lot more from you, as they. Say. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm. <laughs> as, as, I'm, uh, I'm. I've got the bass and blood in me. I'll, I'm gonna be here for the long run. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, man. We could tell, and and uh, and I mean that you two are both uh, in the bass angling world, or breaths of fresh air, and and another breath of fresh air is great to see a bass fishing fan win. A boat, man. Like so mm -hmm. cool of you, Crestliner. Uh, amazing, amazing. Absolutely. Um, Jack, Joe, Bjorn, Dale, all you guys over there, man. Unreal. Yeah. 
un- un- unreal. I mean, uh, re- really cool. And of course, Omnia Fishing for your contribution uh, yes. to, to the whole thing. And of course, Pure Fishing with the Berkeley and the Abu stuff. Uh, so, so amazing. Um, unreal. Un- unreal. Like, so, Keith, what I would like you to do. Like, you're never short on words, Keith. I noticed that about you. <laughs> John, have you ever noticed that about your friend, Keith? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, yeah. And, and, Derek, you've seen enough uh, Keith Carson stuff to notice that, that he, he talks. He's a talker. He, he, a little bit. Talker. A little more than me. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what I would like you to do is is close this episode of uh, of catching up with the Crestliner Pros hashtag uh, slash Stray Cast Show uh, MX19 launch party. And, and – uh, Take us out. I usually take us out to this um, this psychedelic Jim Morrison uh, thin raft of bass fishing music. But Keith, get melodic and say goodbye to the well, folks. And all that good. Everyone, stuff. I'd like to thank everyone for tuning in and liking and sharing the posts. And to all of our winners who won every eight minutes, Derek who won the MX nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> he said it's just amazing, life changing for you. Uh, you know, and then to be here with Pat, the best talk show host of all time oh, the you. most intelligent actually and then this is real talk here you are extremely intelligent when it comes to bass fishing well, and probably about a bunch of other stuff too but you know <laughs> <laughs> especially bass fishing well, thank you I, I yeah i love bass fishing it's yeah good. it shows man you're thank good you. yeah thank yes you. and uh but keep going just keep going no oh, and uh 20 you know minutes I'm to just, fill. keep going 20 more yeah. minutes. oh so oh oh I'm I'm just I'm thrilled to be here. This is just you know you know this is uh, the highlight of my Sturgeon Bay trip was tonight right now, and uh, to be here <laughs> with John and all you guys. Tell him we'll be here next week at at seven too. Yeah. Tell him we'll be here next Wednesday seven central. Not you, but me and the Ninja will be here. With our everyone, show. tune in yes. next Wednesday at seven central to check out Pat and the Ginger Ninja, and it's going to be another amazing show. That's right. It'll be amazing, and but not as amazing as this MX-19 launch party and the fact that Derek Taylor won a freaking Crestliner with yeah, 200 gosh. horsepower Mercury Pro XS, fully loaded power poles, graphs, jack plate, TH Marine stuff, all that good stuff. Amazing. Dreams come true. Dreams come true. Look at John Cox. He's an example <laughs> of the American dream. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Pat Renwick. Thank you, Bass Galaxy. Thank you, Crestliner. Thank you, Mercury. Thank you, Derek. Thank you, everybody that won. Thank you, John Cox. And thank you, Keith Carson. Thank you, Andrew the Ginger Ninja. And remind you all, this episode will be on all podcast platforms in, in a little bit. In a little, in Just in a little bit. Tune it in. If you missed any and you want to rehear, here's tomorrow. Hey, everybody. <laughs> I bid you peace. I peace. I bid you. See you next week. <laughs> I'm out. Later. See you, man. Good yeah. luck. Safe travels, boys. See Bye, you guys. Knock them out. See you guys. <laughs>